Uh, we live? Uh oh, creepy. Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Fat boy not so slim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. And thank you very much for the applause. Uh, before I've even done anything, today at least. Alright, um, I didn't actually have time to go looking for the one or two worms. Oh. Uh, maybe that's it. Right there. Um, it's very likely there's some more... Some more worms lying around on the planet somewhere, but... There's literally just a handful of worms left on this planet before we can... Make it official that it is biter free. Um, the planet's not too big though, so it's not going to impact our save times that much uh, before we're able to trim it. Anyway, Fraser K, okay. good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I believe we were putting together some stuff on Nalvis in the auto-loading rocket to send up here. Let's see, another stack and a half of red undergrounds, uh, four stacks of splitters, and that's going to leave us with, like, almost 300 stacks. So we should probably pile in some more uh, iron plate, steel, I don't know what else, before... We come back. Let's see, we've got no copper. I have a feeling we might need some copper. Um, also, let's bring in some electronic components and glass. Uh, I don't even have a shortcut for Nalvis at the moment. Let's see. Iron plate, copper plate, steel plate. Uh, glass, and maybe stone brick concrete. We'll see how much room is left after that. Brings a brill. Uh, I recall we kept suggesting defenders and ammo, but probably won't need that now. Defenders... Uh, for the, as in media defense. We've got 12 media defense installations, 490 ammo. I think we'll be okay there. How much power do we have so far in this little outpost? Um, three... That doesn't look right. 3.0M. But we're at 98 right now. Hold on, what? The sun's coming back up, but the production maximum is going down? I don't understand what's happening here. Uh, what? Oh, the sun's actually going down right now. The accumulators are kicking in. So why does it look like the solar panels are doing more? Huh? Yeah, the sun is definitely going down. Oh, this is... No, this is production. Nani? I never used them, so can't recall their name offhand. Uh, capsules, destroyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we did actually clear the planet without them, although we've got a handful of worms left over now. But definitely next time I'll be taking a few stacks. Especially after how much more effective they were after a couple of upgrades. Uh, we also want to be making space rail up here. Um, for which we will have to siphon off some energy catalogs. Which is going to slow down the energy science, but... The whole point of this energy science build was to get space rail, so I don't particularly care. Also, we should definitely allow... We're out of Holmium plate? 
Yeah, we got no Holmium already. Huh. Uh, let's see. On Hagen? How's our Holmium plate looking? Wow. Okay, that's actually better than expected. About 25k plate. And... We didn't actually leave any... Oh, this is the old build. I was going to say, I thought I set it up to balance it so that we would have to have some amount. Uh, that's kind of a weird way to do it, actually. So there has to be one cargo wagon of Holmium ingots in the back before we push to the front. And then this one's unconditional. I think I probably, in the blueprint, did something different, and, whoops, uh, and it just didn't, yeah, here it is, it just didn't paste onto the already existing bulk rail loaders. Uh, so yeah, we have to have one train load of ingots available before we turn it into plate. That seems good. Um... I think we should definitely send it up to space as ingots. Is that what we're doing? Yes, it is. Cool. Great. Fantastic. Um, but we just don't have that much yet. Because a whole trainload of ingots is actually a decent amount. Good morning. No mouse. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Um... All right, so we do have... Let me just double check. Yeah, we do have something to break down the ingots into plates. I just want to triple check. I'm pretty sure we can't prod module that. And there's no reason to send them up as plates. Oh, I can do it over here. Yeah, we can't prod module this process. Don't forget to add the green wire to Holmium ingots. Uh, good point, yes. And it's already got the setting. And same thing over here. So that way... Well, unless I set this... Oh, I did set it slightly higher. I set it one whole stack higher, even though we can't see it here. So there'll definitely be a trainload of ingots available all the time when this thing is working. Uh, so plate is basically our secondary output from here. Do we have enough Holmium to keep these builds satisfied? It looks like the answer is yes. Um, I could go for yet another Holmium build. I'm thinking I probably should, to be honest. Even if we do go through the Holmium on the whole Hagen planet a bit faster. Um... I think it would be nice if we had some decent throughput for that, rather than waiting literal dozens of hours for each train load. So let's bring our construction train over this way. And then over this way as well. Wait for inactivity 15 seconds. Wait, what? Yeah, there it is. Talem Grandmaster, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, how's our Nalvis rocket looking? It is still looking for an awful lot of uh, red splitters? I could just stop at 150. 150 is quite a lot. Because the way this thing works... Um, it's gonna try and load all of the splitters before it loads any of the other stuff. So now we're on stone brick. There's actually already 4k stored. Um, I imagine it won't have too much trouble coming up with the rest. Yeah, that should be fine. What can we do while we wait for those resources? 
There isn't a pyramid on this planet, is there, Gibbel? There is not. I could go get the last few uh, worms that are hopefully all in about the same direction, but I probably won't. There's another one. <laughs> probably won't find all of them just yet. Probably better to just do some building. Okay, so we've got... Oh, that's what I wanted to do off-stream. I wanted to, to design a whole standardized mall for these outposts. I guess we can do it now. Uh, let's go with the standard... Pick up and drop off to start with. Perhaps. And I want to steal from what we did on Granis and potentially improve on it. Um, so I definitely want... I, I think I'm quite happy with this layout to get some cargo rocket silos going. Uh, and I think we will have separate liquid rocket fuel reserves for each of them so we can prioritize. But the basic layout is just this. Um, cargo rocket silo with actually let me do it this way cargo rocket silo with a couple of bulk rail loader I forgot we can't actually design this part I mean, we can't place the cargo rocket silo itself. Not without going to a def uh, different save game. Um, can I flip this? I actually can. And this would go here for the symmetry. Well, for our standard... Outpost, we're only necessarily going to have one cargo rocket silo. So I think we'll start like this. And I could jump into a separate save to do this real quick. But then we're not able to jump back and forth and look at Granis. Um, I definitely want something very, very similar, if not exactly the same for a short train for construction. Why have you got that stuff? Uh, a short construction train. We should probably use a Tesla this time. You know what? It would be almost as easy to just build it on the spot. Except I'd like to build it here and then I wouldn't be able to blueprint it without this extra stuff. Uh, whatever. We'll just build it here, and I'll separate it out to get a blueprint. Or the pieces that I'll turn into a blueprint later. Alright, let's build. And I think I like this spot for... Oh, our inventory again. I think I like this spot for the train emptier. Uh, just want to follow a similar pattern to what we've got down here. Except it'll be with a short train. Can we place this rail? Because I want to see if that's going to be in the right spot. Fantastic. We actually only need one. And then over here. Actually, the station's not going to be this way. It's going to be this way. So, like this. Let's get some rail here. And I guess it really doesn't matter if... Well... 
we don't need a signal here. And I don't think it matters if the loader part is closer together. That might be a bit better for the bots. On second thought, maybe it would be even better if all the bot storage was up the middle and the part that loads the train could be up here in the middle somewhere. In which case, do we have a big container that we brought? Storage, chest. We don't have any chests, really. Warehouse, no. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Uh, let's request some from Nalvis. I'm still loading this thing, I'm not surprised. It's actually not even done loading the stone bricks. Ruh row. Uh, but let's ask for, say, one stack of each of these. Make it a lot easier to craft it. Easier than crafting it. Uh, but let's see, Navsat, we can design this out. Uh, I want a buffer warehouse, maybe in the exact middle if that's possible, which it looks like it is. What if we had our train just come up this way, or this way? We don't even need this rail here. It's just to put it all closer together to give the 50 logistic bots that we're going to have less work. Shorter trips. Oops. There we go. So what if... Um, we don't need to lay it out like that. Uh, it would have to be here, I think. Where are my inserters? Let's go drop some stuff off and pick some stuff up. Real quick. I should really start moving this stuff over already. We've got Logibots, right? Yeah, we do. Fantastic. Very efficient at point blank. What was I coming back here for? Inserters, I think, which we've got now. And speaking of inserters, we're going to place a bunch of them as we go. Probably going to need some more for these two uh, stations. Uh, it's the stack filters I'm looking for at the moment. That actually fits perfectly, I think. It could be one off with the station, which is... I think it's going to be a regular station, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regular station. Actually, let me just copy from this. Yeah, it is one-off. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Alright, let's move all of this down one, I guess. And I can just handcraft a regular train stop. That's still going to be pretty good. And then I want... Could put the next stop down here. Is 
So that doesn't line up with any of the inserters. Bulk rail unloader fits very well, actually. And it's not going to interact with that buffer warehouse. It's one off from doing that. So the train is going to come here first. Empty everything, and I might just actually have everything it drops off go straight into the buffer warehouse. Um, I could put a single active provider chest between them just in case this thing gets over full somehow, but then I don't actually want this to ever get full regardless. I think we'll just have the purple chest right here, as close as possible to the buffer warehouse, so the bots will have an extremely short trip. Uh, and if that's going to be placed there, we should probably... Either do it something like this, or something like this. It's probably neater. That's looking pretty good. Let's get some signals. And then... I think that'll do. Uh, the logic is going to be a nice, easy copy-paste job. Well, maybe not that easy. It does take a few combinators, but maybe not as many because there's only one train. Uh, why don't I just steal from myself here? That's just for loading. Oh, actually... Hmm. I kind of want to see what was... Uh, what was on this logic here. Wait, what? There we go. We've got... Oh, it's not actually connected to anything. Do we have more inserters? Do we have more jetpack? Oh, I was putting lots of roboports in. Yeah, I don't think we need roboports as much as jetpack right now. And I should probably pick up a cargo rocket silo, landing pad. Uh, I won't worry about the defenses just yet. We're going to need roboports. We've already got some. And... Uh, that's probably it for the moment. Busy bots. Hyun, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, bots go burr. Now we can see the setting. It is read train contents. That's all we need here. Okay. Read train contents times negative one plus positives for what we want in the train. Anything greater than zero output anything, so we pick one signal at a time. Uh, these things on the left are just for the programmable speaker. Uh, we take the anything signal and output directly to uh, the first inserter, and we also give it times one S it, using red wire so that this doesn't become a memory cell. Uh, set filters, set stack size S on the first one. And set filters, no stack size limit on the rest of them. Although, oh yeah, and for the rest of them we just say only if we're trying to put more than 72 items in. As in, if all of these can swing with a stack size of 12 and it won't go over. 
uh, then we are going to need a hand. Okay. So was this up here, or... What's easy to read? Probably this version. Is that going to fit? Not with the train. Uh, not with the train stop, rather. And then... Uh, this one goes input from the train stop. Oh, I, I need the actual train stop. Input from the train stop. Uh, times negative one. That's in the wrong place. And all of that goes to the anything. Uh, and the red wire from the positives, from the constant combinators, goes directly to our chest, which I might not be able to lay up the way I want just here without actually placing it. That might be it. Fantastic. Doing great. How about yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, and we need some wires. Uh, the times one S goes directly to this one. That's already done. That's already done as well, actually. Oh, and uh, if we so desire, we could have a notification when the train is fully loaded. I might just not worry about it this time. I only really care about that for our main base on Hagen, where the train loads up quite a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, how's that space train, otherwise known as a cargo rocket, looking? We're loading up the concrete. That just leaves glass, iron, steel, copper. That's actually quite a lot. How much room is left in this thing? Half a cargo rocket. Seems good. Uh, can we still fit the same layout for this thing? Root. Uh, if we do that, we can actually fit it very easily. And the logistic network storage is going to be much closer to our cargo rockets this way. Cool, cool, cool. Very nice. Um... We'll need some roboports. And... And that's pretty much it. I'm quite liking this so far, actually. Okay, um, could we paste this right about here? And here we're just going to request uh, the main resource that we're going to export from this planet, which is Iridite Core Fragments. Um, we'll also want to export uh, Imacite. And what's the first step in processing Imacite? Probably requires, like... Hmm... If it didn't produce stone, I would seriously consider doing this just for the stack size. I could export the stone as well. Maybe even... in the same cargo rocket.
Hmm. I definitely don't want to mess with the the next step of processing uh, before we launch it. But going from stack size 20 to stack size 50, and 2 becomes 1 as well, uh, is definitely worth the headache of dealing with one processing step and one side output. I think. Probably. It's going to save a lot of cargo rocket sections, so yes. Um, I think to do that, though, I would probably like to just process that on the spot here. So we're going to do something a little bit different with this drop-off. Uh, how many pro uh, pulverizers does it take to keep up with X holmium per second? Let's see, four holmonite per second, which is actually one-fifth of a whole stack. So five of these will do a stack per second. Uh, how many can we casually fit, though? I could just do a couple of them right here. Or I could even process them at the pickup, where we've got practically infinite space. That makes a lot of sense. So I think what we'll do is a Holmium powder pickup for this one. And we'll have to do a stone pickup as well, unless we want to um, straight up cr uh, delete all of the stone, which I definitely don't want to do. Um, so, Requester, we're looking for Core Fragments, Iridite, it is Iridite on this planet, right? Gibil, yes, Iridite Core Fragments. Iridite Core Fragment, uh, is this... I should just double check. We still don't need um, sulfuric acid to get the core fragments themselves, right? Because normally to mine iridite we need sulfuric acid. Uh, where are my drills? Oh, here we go. There's one just over here. It's not going to have like a fluid input. No, I think we're good. We might need sulfuric acid to process them. Um, but for the moment we don't need any, which is nice. Uh, so this one's going to be or fragment iridite stack size wait why does it show the stack size here it is that's interesting it just doesn't show the stack sizes for the core fragments it does for all this other stuff but i'm pretty sure it's 20. uh let's just double check Core, Fragment, uh, they should all be 20, probably. Yes. What the, what the laser? So 20 times 80 is 1600, two train loads is 3200. Maybe even set it higher than that, because we'll go through 
80 stacks very, very quickly here. Um, I mean, it'll be bottlenecked on the rockets, I guess. But this is... Erudite Core Fragment... Requester... Wait, didn't I name it a bit differently up here? Yeah, let's copy that one. In fact, let's copy this whole thing and change it up. A new, um, a new sub. Ascend Anima, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. A new month indeed. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. And I hope I'll continue to entertain you. All right. That's our Iridite drop-off, Iridite Core Fragments. This one is going to be... Why don't I copy it from here as well? Since we don't have anything in this rail network, uh, it won't cause any problems. Oh, we do need the fluid request. Uh, cool, so this was going to be... Uh, crushed imasite, was it? No, it crushed holmium. Crushed holmonite, stack size 50. Fantastic. Uh, 80 times 50 times 2. About 8k. And... Crushed... Oh, wait. Um, well, I don't think this is going to change my decision, but our current processing blocks include the crushing of the Holmanite. Um, so we would have to either find a space to drop off the crushed Holmanite and just belt it over here. Which I think is what I might do. Or I could even drop it off here and just filter it. So JMO, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, on the other hand... Yeah, I could just filter it out of this container and onto these belts. It wouldn't be perfect, but it would be a very elegant uh, way to slide, slide that in without making a whole different processing block for this. Uh, let's see. Holmium ingot. It seems we're missing a few things. It's actually mostly just red belt. One electric boiler, one flare stack, and a centrifuge. Okay, it's about time... I added those things over here. Uh, which which one has the most room left? It's currently the front. So let's just go centrifuge. 50. Uh, electric boiler. 50, even though it's way more than we need. On second thought, I'll just go for a handful. Like... It really is way more than we need. Even though it stacks higher than that. And flare stacks, same thing. Um, so we're going to copy those... Wait, what? That doesn't look quite right. Oh, the numbers are different there. And this one, that's a bit different. I don't want to mess up the requests that I do have. Uh, how about another constant combinator? So it was centrifuge and some electric boilers and flare stacks and i think i have to add these two to the auto crafter 
flare stack. We do have 15 flare stacks. Uh, electric boiler. And we do have electric boiler. Cool. I think because we have that many, we probably got the auto crafter to make them. I may find out that I'm wrong about that, but there should already be a train delivering some of those things. We'll give it a bit of time to catch up. This plate fell from the wall at 4 a.m.? Oh, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. This plate, that's, the, that's those cool-looking, uh, like, basically picture frames, right? Um, what am I doing next? I need to go get another cargo rocket silo. I need to decide where to put the landing pad. Here probably makes a ton of sense, although it's not quite symmetrical. Uh, so let's put it somewhere like here. We're also going to need some roboport range. Um, I seriously doubt it, but I'm hoping... I couldn't even make that symmetrical. Um... I was going to say, I seriously doubt it, but I would like to see if using construction mode, we could just use a few uh, roboports to cover the whole area in case of a cargo rocket crash. Um, oh, we've already had meteors landing on our heads. That's not cool. And we got some radiation. Ouchie. Uh, let me just put that in a chest somewhere. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Stop it. Uh, I'm gonna have to move some of these solar panels. Because a cargo rocket might fall in their head. And I guess I should hurry up and get some media defenses working. I could just put that in the mall, but... It's going to end up being a bit of a mess. I think I'll put it, like, one block below or something. That actually takes up a ton of space. Where's our ammo? The plate and poster fell. Metal posters stuck to the wall with a magnet. Magnet came loose. Let's see. So the adhesive or... I'm guessing not the magnet magnetic connection itself. There's actually two cheeky uh two cheeky worms right next to us over here. Oh, they are not dying from those flames. Uh tell you what. Let me greet you a bit more cordially. With some lasers. There you go. Didn't have to mark that one on the map. Um, so I'm thinking maybe about here. Or the point defenses. Three, four, five, six. And separate those by two. Oops. And we'll have some substations in the middle. I don't suppose a pair of substations... Nope. We can't quite cover it with a pair of substations. Unfortunate. Uh, that seems pretty close to the center. That's a lot of media defense. Yeah, but... Uh, it, it takes a lot to be 
statistically almost sure of stopping all the meteors. And as long as they're not actually firing, they don't cost anything extra. Uh, I mean, they do. They cost like uh, 10 megawatts extra each, but that's not that much. Okay. Uh, we need some power poles down here. How about there? And uh, there. Two tiles off that connecting. Brovna. That's actually a really good fit. Let's put this down here. And start seeing where we're going to put our robopods. Um, there's nothing, there's nowhere symmetrical because we can't quite fit one in here, unfortunately. I'm going to need some room for logistic reach. Oh, it actually just needs to be up here. Request a chest. Right about here. Um, that's actually not going to reach. That's actually pretty neat. About as neat as it gets. And this is looking for ammo. Can I just put this here? No. Oh, I can. Fantastic. Uh, so 960 ammo. In other words, all of it. Let's get a robo port over here somewhere. Fantastic. Midden, good morning. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so that has sucked up all of our electricity. Um, I don't suppose we have any more solar. But is it going to actually crash, or is it just going to take a little while to fully charge? We are still gaining charge. So I think it's probably fine, especially because it's going to be almost never uh, that we would actually have 12 of these charging at the same time. Regardless, um, I do want to move these solar panels uh, over to the right as soon as possible. Maybe even more than that. I wish I could see exactly the crash radius, and I wish there was research to reduce the crash radius from the cargo landing pads. Um, okay, how's that rocket looking from, uh, from Nalvis? We have a lot left to go. It seems like we don't have iron to give. So let's just skip the iron this time. And what about steel? We've got no steel to give either. That's not encouraging. There's a trickle of iron coming in from a mine. Uh, I thought the rail network was still supplying this, including infinite supplies from... Don't tell me all the trains are stuck somewhere. It looks like all the trains are stuck somewhere. Okay. I think we're going to just get this train to go on its merry way. And hopefully the rest will sort itself out? Question mark? We'll check in there in a minute. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, 
We want to copy this as well. Doesn't necessarily have to be the same, but maybe I will put a third cargo rocket here. And we're going to need a couple of requesters at least. And the reason I was waiting, uh, checking on that rocket was because I didn't want to have to handcraft this. But I might have to at this rate. Let me hurry up and make a shortcut for Nalvis, even if we don't intend to look back here very often. Um, cargo... Rocket silo, control zero. Uh, and what are we looking for now? Still steel. Oh, right. I was going to abandon all hope on the steel. How much copper have we got? Not that much. And then we've got the concrete and stone. We've got the glass. Uh, that's pretty much everything, but we're going to have like 150 stacks or so that we're not using. It's probably fine. Okay. Let's go start moving our stuff. In fact, let me just do it this way. Uh, how about this, even? I'll hold on to the uh, power armor stuff. I don't want to have to set a request to bring that back. And we'll go pick up some stuff from over here, including the Logibots. Just keep doing this until inventory full. Inventory very full. Oh, and there goes the Walk of Shame. If only not fully filling the rocket changed anything, yeah. If, uh, if reducing, if the mass mattered for the rocket, uh, for what was actually in the cargo rocket was, uh, affected how much it cost, then there wouldn't be the stress to fill it up entirely. Oh, this is actually not powered. Oh, that's unfortunate. How about this? And then bots go in here. Everything else can go in here. And they can sort that out. Uh, and I should really pick up some rocket fuel. Which I foolishly dropped somewhere. Rocket fuel... Where could it be? It's still in here. There we go. Now we pick stuff up. Until we're full. Until we're very full. Drop it off in the bulk unloader. Whoop, not the rocket. Oh, it's gone. Give it back. Uh, 
fuel is not the expensive part? That's pretty much true. Although, with the amount of space that it takes to make liquid rocket fuel with K2, uh, you definitely feel the expense of it a lot more. Alright, this goes in here. And on to the next one. Oh, and that's actually everything. Fantastic. Now we don't have to go back and forth. It's actually missing a piece. And so is that. Oh, I don't have construction bots. We'll come back to that. Where are my construction bots? They must be in the logic network. Logistic network. Alright, let's check on the Nalvis rocket. It is fully loaded. Unless I can think of more stuff to ask for. Um, like this iron ore. We've got 3.1k iron ore in the logistic network, but not uh, not on the belts or anything. Or not existing as plate. How about... That's iron? Oh wow, it goes all the way back up here. Uh, how about we do a request a chest? Hmm. Where could we squeeze it in? Here we go. Should be some request a chests on the way. And iron can go in here. Uh, anyway, what else do we have? Plastic landfill? Do we need landfill on this planet? I mean, if I want to make a nice nuclear reactor that takes advantage of the water, maybe. I didn't bring a nuclear reactor this time, I don't think. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. Besides, we've got practically infinite stone. Uh, what else do we have in bulk? Heat shield, big electric, blue belt. Oh, solar panels. Yeah, let's send more solar panels. And what was the ratio that I've already got? Uh, two to one. Do we have accumulators? We do. And they're already on the way. Kanda Jr. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fuel savings would not amount to much on a cargo rocket. Yeah, that's... Compared to the cargo rocket sections, you are right, even with the inconvenience of making fuel with K2. Okay. Give me my stuff back. Cargo rockets... Only use some percentage of the parts and fuel if part of the cargo space is un unused. Costs scale up from 50% cost if zero cargo slots are used. Interesting. MyClat, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for the bonk. Um, 
So we need some roboports dotted around the place. In case of stupid cargo rocket crashes. And... Why are we not building those? Do we not have... Ro oh, there's no construction bots in the robot network yet. Uh, is that really... I didn't bring any spares? Alright. Let's put a few... Wait, what? I put them on the ground. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should be fine for our purposes. Um, and then I'm thinking... So here's what I don't understand with the modes for the RoboPorts. Like, this is barely touching with the logistic network range, but if I make this construction mode, does that mean I could put it... I guess it does. It means I could put it way up here. Um, and it would still... No? Well, it we can tell that it's still connected, at least. That's the main thing. So hopefully we won't need too many of those. Mm. Alright, fine. One here. Another one here. It's probably not going to count as being connected. And cargo rockets. Um, we're gonna need another one way over here somewhere. Outside of the range of a single big power pole. Subhan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you plan to get rid of rockets the second you have spaceships in the elevator? Yes, absolutely. This is anti-cargo rocket gang. Um, Alright, time to move these solar panels. Because they're going to be in the way. Uh, they're they're going to be where cargo rockets might crash. And we don't want that. Cut. And a paste. Actually, a lot of work for the bots. Train ships or loading cargo on the ship? Uh, just loading cargo on the ship, because I'm going to use uh, logistic bots for that. Very, very short range logistic bots. And a single uh, large container is what I have in mind. And possibly even just 50 logistic bots per loading spot, so that we don't get bot attrition. K2 bots are nice, indeed. Is there any reason not to get rid of them? Uh, the effort of getting rid of them? Like, because you've got the... the old stuff will still work, right? But you're going to be paying more materials to do the same job. Although, cargo rockets do have the advantage of teleporting across the universe. Can a train get into a spaceship? Yes, it can. 
uh, have a look at MyClat's stream for some interesting and goofy applications of trains in spaceships. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Who needs UPS when you're having fun, right? As long as the UPS is above, say, 30, 45? At least 30, surely. They work mostly? They mostly do their jobs. Mostly. Oh, this is actually taking longer than I thought. And yet the RoboPorts are recharging very quickly. Wasn't there some goofy application of using train wagons as storage to get more storage? Yeah, uh, apparently the uh, cargo wagons don't actually count toward the container stress for the spaceship. But they do take up a lot of space. Does anyone know how the stress of trains compares to normal chests? I think it just doesn't. I, I think it's free. Free, quote-unquote. They just use up a lot of space. Yeah, they really do. Okay, do you think this is far enough to avoid cargo rocket landing on solar panel? Not landing, crashing, literally. Also, how is that rocket looking? Uh, it's fully loaded and there's still a lot of space. Um, how many more solar panels do we have? 1.4k? Let's take another thousand. Wait, 1500? No, it should be 1250. There we go. And start placing these ones on the right. There's some funkiness with cargo wagons. They only need two bits of rail instead of three. That's interesting. Um, it's interesting how with the bulk rail loaders, um, for the first, uh, for the first loader connected to a station, like if this is, this is the locomotive and this is a cargo wagon and so on, uh, the first one takes up three. And the second one, we have to remove two pieces of rail, not three. Just the way it fits together, because it has the one spot empty in the middle. Dosh beltless botless? Uh-oh. If I was using a train, I'd use it to avoid transferring the items, so you'd have the wagons to move. Yeah, the trains themselves uh, leave the spaceship and go on a little trip. I know where you learned that? Sounds sketchy. Oh yeah, I can stand between... Oh, I can't actually squeeze through here. Wait, why am I able to run left, right here, but not up and down here. That's interesting. I can run north-south on this side of the accumulator, but not on this side. And now I can't do either? What? Let me in. What happened? Okay, I'm not moving from this spot horizontally. Seems like an only mod. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Let me just fix that real quick. Uh, 
this thingy. You can always take Factorio mods. Also, you can scroll down to the bottom, but it's just the alias that I have to update every time. Bots in your inventory made you fatter, <laughs> so now you can't fit, indeed. Let me just update this command real quick. Be gone, alias, and come over here, alias. Fantastic. Okay. Let's bring over our solar. Speaking of which, oh, we really need to reconnect this as well. Also, we need a substation here. Why not have mods just say all the mod commands? Um, I've been meaning to try to find out if I could get some automatic changes so that mods will always do the game that I'm playing. Uh, but I keep forgetting it slash not knowing where to look. Lazy bastard run equals 50 pounds gained. <laughs> oh no. Do you even handcraft? Oh, this has actually already got range. I forgot how many Roboports I have. Up we go. That reminds me, I need breakfast. Seems good. Alright, just a hundred solar panels to place and then we're out. Let's have a look at our rocket. Um, it's, it's completely loaded again. Uh, and we're still missing like 104 stacks. I think I'm going to give up on loading it with even more stuff. Then again, rail is cheap. Oh, we want construction bots. Probably. Probably doesn't make that much of a difference, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Um, construction bots. And... Whoops. Uh, maybe some more rail. Yoka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I actually asked for too much rail, unless we're able to make more. Which I believe we are. That's it for the moment for the bots, uh, for the solar over here. Okay. How's this robot network looking? Unfinished? Is that actually connected? I don't think it is. Oh, this one's not powered now. I have to point at this one to see if this is connect. Okay, I think it was because that was still charging. 
So that actually is connected. And uh, this one. Seems good. Oh, put it on construction mode. There we go. And one more down here somewhere. Can I copy paste with the construction mode? I think I can. Then up here. It's actually going to be powered. Fantastic. All right. Hopefully, that's enough for. The crashy rockets. Crasho rockets? Maybe that's what I'll call them. We're looking for another 2.2k rail. That should be massively overkill. Oh, we did already have construction bots in here. Okay then. Alright, as soon as it loads that, I'm going to launch it. That'll do. And we're going to need ourselves a... a construction train, basically. I want to copy settings from this one, but I don't think I can do it across the universe. Did I make a blueprint for that? I think I probably did it temporarily last time. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Is that still connected? Yes, it is. Alright, blueprint. This sucker. Trains. Uh, and that's it. And... There it is. And then I want a requester for fuel. Actually, let me just check something real quick. So you're going to construction Oh, you've already got the settings. Good. Wait, where are you going? You, you're going to go all the way to this roundabout just to move two centimeters up here? Or was it because you were actually further up? Either way. Uh, so this is construction train emptier. Fantastic. Uh, I just want to see where the refuel inserters are going to line up. That seems okay. And request a chest. Number one, number two. I just have my 1000 train for Factorio. <laughs> nice. Noxy Way Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, we'll probably end up running it on solid fuel. Just like last time, because we have to extract oil in order to get uh, liquid rocket fuel. Um, and the processing, the way it works with K2, we can't turn petroleum uh, into solid uh, liquid rocket fuel, no matter how many production steps we take, as far as I know. Unless you can turn biomatter into liquid rocket fuel, but that would be incredibly slow as well. 
Badjiba, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just check. Liquid... I mean, we checked before, but I want to double check. Liquid rocket fuel uh, requires solid rocket fuel. Solid rocket fuel can be made from iron plate ammonia oxygen, iron plate hydrogen chloride oxygen, iron plate light oil oxygen, which is why we're tapping the fuel, or iron plate coal pyroflux. I don't think I would ever do this. Um... So yeah, unless we can turn petroleum into light oil, which we know we can't, no matter how we go, no, no matter what roundabout path we take, we're not cracking petroleum backwards. Because you can't turn solid fuel into solid rocket fuel with this mod set. I still have no save with more than a hundred trains. You'll get there. And you won't be meaning to at the time. Having the stupid train taking longer route to the station bug frequently. Unfortunate. Windmills? Uh, yeah, we could throw some windmills in. I'm sure we've got them lying around here. 54 only. Wind turbine. On the way, 54. Okay. So I think we will run this off solid uh, solid fuel once we get there. Um, I'll probably put the oil production block down here, which means I'm going to have to move this stuff. This is... This goes here. And we'll see where we can fit those roboports. Pretty easy, actually. That whole thing should get built automatically, which is nice. Except for the beacons that we don't have. Alright, let's check on our resupply. Uh, I think we're ready. I could send more ammo. Then again, with the way resources haven't been moving. It's all because of this station not working properly. Even though I thought I patched it. Or was that before the crash? The T equals zero isn't working very well. I think we should just remove it. Under certain circumstances, a train will get stuck here, though, for the opposite reason. Um, in that case, if iron plate, sorry, iron ore less th uh, greater than 2,000? So if there's enough back here for one train load, push it forward, I guess. Hopefully that'll stop all of this deadlocking and maybe keep the old base churning slowly for the foreseeable future. Oh, this thing's not charging yet. It doesn't actually have the... Or it didn't have the wire connections. There we go. Now the whole thing should get built without oversight. 
big oil blocks is this an oil world it is not i'm just copy pasting the oil block i've already got uh speaking of oil where are we gonna get it from there's a little bit of crude up here that is another worm i'm gonna go kill it rather than making a note of this one for later it was close to the oil, right? Yeah, near that patch of sand. Fantastic. Um, there's a million crude, 1.1 1 .1 and 1 over here. It's a little far away, but we've definitely got plenty of rail. And overall, that might be easiest. And there's there's no mines that we're going to roll over if we go this way. So, is this right? That looks right. It's actually quite far. Um, I might be a little bit lazy and belt, uh, not belt, pipe, uh, oil from over here down to here. We shouldn't need too high of a throughput. And we do have steel underground pipes. Let's go get our inventory sorted. Oh, and uh, I might want to copy from what we did on Granis to make the solid fuel. Granis. Uh, this is actually quite a clean little addition to this build. We might even need two of these. That's a little bit shocking. Uh, give me more underground pipe. Give me pump jacks. Give me probably nothing else, to be honest, except for some rail. It would be easier to take the construction train and manually drive it forward. Uh, so let's grab all the rail if we can find it. There it is. Oh, and we need to give this thing a grid. Uh, I probably didn't bring enough Let's just give it the robo ports from the thruster suit. And is it too late? It is not too late. I don't think we have a Tesla. That's interesting. Searching Tesla brings up all of this. Can we make one here? Yeah, we can, really easily. So, Tesla coil. And energy absorber. We need batteries. We don't have batteries. Let's bring them from Nalvis. Are we still trying to load rail? We are not. We've got... Over 150 stacks still. Battery, say, a thousand. And we're going to need... We already confirmed we could make the Tesla tower, right? Electronic circuit, steel beam, copper cable, that's fine. Where is it? 
It's under logistics. Tiny oil? Uh... Oh yeah, the, the patches of oil on this planet are not all that. I only brought 60 pump jacks. Is that enough? It probably is for this. I'm pretty sure it is. There's not actually any point in placing the Tesla Tower yet, but whatever. It'll remind me to give it uh, the recharge thing. Oh, we could bring some personal roboports for the train. We're not automating those here, though. That's already full. You know what? Make it 10 stacks of battery. Should I bring, like, Heat Shield LDS? Do I have those here already? Not really. Okay, I'm actually surprised at that. Heat Shield... LDS... RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You're right. There is nothing more satisfying than improving a rail block. I now have a roundabout and straight both at 32 by 32. The rail standard block has two straights, so it's 96 by 96, but could do different sizes if needed. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, circuit condition. Where is it? What, whatever. Item count. Chromium cable. Um, I just want to manually drive this, actually. Put me in the front. It's going to be a long one. Bots are prioritizing picking up the stone and coal instead of placing the tracks. help if I had my 50 bots as well. Alright, let's check on our cargo rocket. Uh, it's already full again. We've got 23 stacks remaining to make the most of it. Um, is there anything else? Big electric? What, why can't I look up big electric motor? There it is. Centrifuge. I don't think I'm going to make those here. Uh, it's probably fine. I'm sick of... Wait, what? Why are we not building? Are the bots tired? The bots are not tired right now. Oh, I turned off my RoboPort tab. 
let's just send this rocket. Uh, so we're sending it to, let's triple check this, Gibbil, and it's just called Gibbil Landing Pad. Gibbil, Gibbil Landing Pad, it's going to need a bit more fuel, launch trigger manual, fantastic. We're actually getting close to the end of the track here. There's no vehicle roboport that supports 100 bots with a range of 96 by 96. Um, if you spam roboports, the range and um, robot count increases, but... Oh, it can't get back because the signals. So I'm just going to have to manually back this up. We're only having to stop because our inventory is full of stone and coal. And back you go. Oh, I think I know what the problem was before. I was looking for... Um, circuit condition. But it was on a temp stop that wasn't a train stop. So it probably just didn't exist. It's waiting for 60 seconds of inactivity. That seems a little excessive. Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that should be an ore, I think. No. It should just be empty cargo inventory. Anyway. Uh, we've got our rail. We've emptied our inventory of crap. Let's go back over here. Oh, and our bots are going to hate us in a second if we don't stop. I'm trying to stop, but it's going the wrong way. Okay. Which way is it? It's all backward. Oh no, they're bringing more stone. Okay, where's the mall? Down here? Speaking of stone... Uh, why don't we... I'll use the navsat for this. I can't actually place it this way with the navsat. Turn off Roboport. Turn off personal logistics. Pick up stone. And then use radar view. And we can just recognize that this is the mole a little bit more easily. It's going to look a little bit nicer. Wait, what? No, bad. Uh, trees slash rocks. Where is it? Trees, rocks only, whitelist. Fantastic. And then... Go. That'll take the bots a moment to build.
forgot to fill in one square? Surely not. Impossibly. Oh, you're right. <laughs> wow. There it is. Indeed. Bottom middle. Mass lander. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's launch this thing. And we'll get our precious warehouse. Among other things. Dark sky full of stars. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's bring the substation over here, I guess. That's fairly neat. And we're gonna empty all of this. Actually, where would be the best spot to squeeze this in? Uh, probably here. Straight into uh, the active provider in the middle of all the storage. I might need a few more storage chests, actually. Fantastic. That should probably be enough. Probably. Now we want a buffer warehouse. And where's our train? Oh right, I forgot. We were going to ride it over here. We've got how many solar panels? Oh, I can't quite tell. 2.4k, because they're not in the robot network yet. And we're here. Oh, I should have put the stone and coal into the cargo wagon. That would have been a lot smarter. When will we start to pour concrete under our grid? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. When I can be bothered. <laughs> I do have some, uh, some tile blocks uh, to make the builds on Hagen look prettier. I'm not going to try too hard on our outposts, though. Actually, shift C. Oh, it's putting coal into the into the locomotives. That's not a bad idea. Okay, we are here. Now then, I guess I could have designed this while we were waiting on something, but we haven't been waiting on some on stuff much since I decided to do the oil. Okay, probably put these together. Unfortunately, with the way pump jacks are, these two will not cooperate. Uh, I guess we could have a vanilla container here. storage tank. And then... like so. That doesn't work either. Fantastic. I don't have any pipe. Like, regular pipe. On me. 
That was not completely intelligent. Uh, I think I would like these to connect like so. And this one... Um, probably something like this. It is forbidden to get on and off the train. This may result in death or disability. Uh-oh. Hissing walnuts. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've got another set of pump jacks to place up here. No coal or water for a less distant rocket fuel source. Um, the rocket fuel has to be made out of light oil. We need pyroflux if, we, if we're using coal. Which isn't going to happen. Um, I do at least have the steel underground pipe, but... I'll have to come back here anyway, so I may as well go get the, uh... The regular pipe. Okay. That's already full, actually. Can't autopilot this back until we have a train stop like so. Uh, let's see. Pickup station. One, two, three, four. Something like this, probably. That's probably just enough. Anyone else freeze their curly whirlies before eating them? Curly whirlies? Is that a cereal? This is actually a pretty long stretch. It's literally like half the radius of the whole planet to go get this oil. But it's a straight, so the trains will travel it pretty easily. Curly Cheeto Puffs. Curly Fries. Oh, and we need to make the buffer warehouse. There we go. Fantastic. We should have batteries. There they are. So I can make a energy absorber for the train. Uh, and I could, before I go back, I'll leave it all of my Mark II personal RoboPorts. So it's got a bigger radius. But for now, I'll just put this down here. How's our oil block? It's missing blue belt. I think we've got the blue belt, though. Or it's probably still in here. Is this... The bots are keeping up with emptying this pretty well, actually. It's just a lot of stuff. Okay. Robopots are charging a little bit slowly. Oh yeah, I should hurry up and place the umbrella as well. Um, here is probably fine. How's our, our power? Accumulator charge dipped, but that's all. 
Uh, I think we need to see the accumulator charge full before we can get a good idea of how much spare power we've got, but it looks like it's going to be fine. Look at that spike. And yeah, we've actually got like approximately double the power we need at this point. I do have a few uh, coal mining drills to put down, but I've also got a whole lot more solar to place. Is this planet closer or further than Nalvis from its star? It is further than Nalvis and closer than Hagen because everything is closer than Hagen. Um, so it's actually like 51% solar power. But we're just setting this up to get our infinite trickle of erudite for the most part. We're at that stage of the game. Is this thing still charging? Eh, it's almost done. Oh, it'll need some bots as well. Where are zero bots? Uh, let's search. Oh, they're still in here. Just give me all of them for now. And you can have at least 50. I also need to add the part that unconditionally loads 50 logistic bots, which... Um, I vaguely remember how we did that. Override stack size should be one. Or, well, and I guess an even number works. As long as it hits exactly 50. This should be empty. Um, but yeah, we can add that. Over here, perhaps. Uh, I actually wanted to put this up here. And this over here. Um, and we're just gonna... Read train contents and stop at 50 construction bots every time. Cool. Let's go build some more. Wait, I need the pipe. Did we bring pipe? Uh, I don't think we brought regular pipe. Well, we can make it out of the... Plentiful iron plate we brought. 2.4k is not as plentiful as I would like, but we've got millions up here. Uh, give me, give me some, some pipe then. And I don't know if 90 is gonna be enough. Bring me more iron plate. There we go. Alright, we travel over this way. Actually, just make it unconditional that we stay there for now. They still haven't built some of this? Oh, did we not bring pumps? Or not enough pumps? How many pumps is this expecting, anyway? 37. 41. 41. I should have had a stack of pumps on me. I've got another 11. Maybe I just need to throw those into the robot network. Yeah, we literally just need two more pumps to finish this. Okay. 
Does K2 not allow you to make straight Hydrolox fuel? Uh, not to my knowledge. What is Hydrolox? Hy Hydrolox fuel. Uh, I don't know. Liquid rocket fuel can only be made out of solid rocket fuel. There's four recipes for solid rocket fuel. All of them involve one iron plate, a bunch of oxygen. This one has coal, pyroflux, and half the oxygen. This one is a thousand ammonia. This one is a thousand hydrogen chloride. And this is a hundred light oil. Water, hydrogen, plus oxygen. Uh, water, hydrogen, plus oxygen. So... Uh, that's nitrogen and hydrogen, right? Ammonia is? Can we get nitrogen on this planet? I think I meant to try that this time, maybe. Hold on, let's have a peek real quick. Uh, atmospheric condenser. When the bots feel like building it. They're not prioritizing that over all the stone. We'll come back to that. H2 plus O2 is a common real-life rocket fuel and the basis of the water rocket fuel recipe in regular SE. I see. Um, I really do need the bots to build this because I want to check. Uh, I could temporarily remove all the stone requests, but like... Oh, we've only got fifth... We've only got ten construction bots there, because I took them all. I didn't place any more. That was a bit silly. Oh, we'll build this first. Is what I would say, if not for the fact that if we're lucky, this will be redundant. Hydro... Hydrolux refers to liquid oxygen... Uh, liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen. Also, is this waterless? It is not waterless. One's been placed. Fantastic. So we can get nitrogen. Uh, let's stop the train. So let's see. Have a at this production chain. Nitrogen. It would be a comfort to set up a infinite source. Oh, what am I doing? We need a atmospheric condenser. Uh, nitrogen. It would be infinite other than the iron, I think. Oxygen. Fuel refinery makes... Solid rocket fuel out of ammonia and oxygen. Uh, where do we get the ammonia? It is hydrogen plus nitrogen, right? And where do we get the hydrogen? I think we have to break it down from water. Water gives us hydrogen and oxygen from a electrolysis plant. Electrolysis plant. We could do both just because it'll be faster for a long time. Unless they changed it, this recipe was super slow. Requires a ton of machines. I was expecting a downside like that, but like, look at how many machines it takes just to supply the oxygen for this recipe. And I think this one's going to be the same. 1k oxygen per second. Uh, let's have a look though. Yeah, 1k oxygen per 16 seconds. It is quite slow. But other than the iron plate, everything is free. Uh, free and infinite, if you don't count the power cost. 
So water to hydrogen and oxygen. And then which machine makes the ammonia? Chemical plant. Chemical plant. Ammonia. So it's going to look a little bit like this. Only not at scale, obviously. Um, but that's basically it. Everything infinite. Except the iron plate, which is very cheap. Uh, and of course we need one of these... Uh, oh, it is so slow, though. Normally, with the liquid, uh, with the solid rocket fuel recipes, uh, it's one per second per machine. This is 0 0.0625. Uh, we would need 16 of these to go just as fast. And that's actually a pretty big power cost. But we can always give it efficiency modules. Um, we could do five times as many machines for the same power cost. But even then... 16 of these, was it? Which would require how many of these machines to keep up? So this, this would be one-to-one, -one, right? Yeah, this part's one-to-one. -one. Um, we're looking for, again, a thousand oxygen per second. Although, we're trying to get a thousand oxygen in, into 16 machines instead of one. Which is kind of less bad. A thousand ammonia per second. Uh, which would need a hundred of these? Wow. A hundred chemical plants? Uh... A thousand nitrogen per second, a thousand hydrogen per second. That would be eight. Of those. Um, we need a thousand hydrogen per second, which would be... More than a hundred of these. 150, and they're not small. What's this? 22, 25, 50, 1, 2. Uh, and then how much oxygen do they produce? 500 a second, so we need 500 a second from this as well, which would be... 12 machines. So this is what it would take, modules aside, to keep up with 50 liquid rocket fuel per second. Um, it would be all free except for electricity and a little bit of iron, one iron per second. However, without efficiency modules, well, let's say we do use efficiency modules. Um, I just want to put... No, well, it doesn't really matter. It'll give the same calculation regardless. 20%... Uh, 20% power consumption from each machine. And 
don't miss this one. This is a bit easier. And we need more. Okay. Electricity. Uh, we're looking at 98.23 megawatts. That's a little bit much. Triple wide block, I don't see the problem here. Just deal with the slow speed. Why aren't speed... Why aren't you speed modding your buildings? Because we don't have that kind of power yet. I just come to the conclusion it's not worth the UPS. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, we also need to take the time to actually design it this way. So right now I don't particularly want to do that. Um, we've already got everything in place to supply liquid rocket fuel um, with our existing designs. So I think, at least for now, We'll do it this way. The thing is, at the point where we've got so much power that I'd rather do it the other way, it won't be long... It, it might not be long before we're using spaceships by then. So we're not going to need the liquid rocket fuel. Okay. Uh, we need to do the layout. For these friggin oil blocks well not blocks you know what I mean uh, that doesn't work out very well let's do some pipe something like this and I like this and we like this, and this, how about like that? So we can have an underground here. I'll put it on that side, or can I? Not really. I could put those closer together, or this is going to be just as close. Oh, I forgot this one. Unless... that's actually good. Alright, that's one. And then... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Pipe is gonna run through here. Undergrounds like so. Doesn't look right. That's obviously gonna connect there. this one over here. Let's start up that end. We got elevators were a thing now, indeed. Has T-Hex unlocked elevators yet? Nope, not even close. Nucleo mind? Good day, T-Hex and chat. How are you all doing today? Not too bad, thank you. And thank you very much for the resub, much appreciated, for each one of the four months. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well, as always. Um, that's looking fairly clean. And I like this. 
Uh, and then we have to figure out where we're putting our uh, steel underground pipe. Maybe like this. I'm not overly concerned about the throughput as long as we've got a 3 mil before it all runs out. Oh, is it? Nope, that's good. That's a decent fit. Uh, we might have to add a pump or two just to make sure it doesn't bottleneck on the pipe, though. As long as it's enough to feed the one or two blocks of... Um, oil processing that we're going to add. How does this line up? Not quite. Alright, let's go build that. Uh, we're actually at the end here. I think I'd like the power poles to follow the pipes just so that if we have to do anything with them later, it's not going to be hard to find them. Substations. Almost perfect fit. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, I didn't actually connect it. That's a good fit. I don't think I'll ever bother to mine out that iron. And now we just have to connect it to the main network. And check every damn pump. Um, fluid system contents, 11k, 15k, 17k. It's going up very quickly. But if we go all the way up here and see 31k, we should have pretty good confidence that... Most of it's connected. And if we... Oh, this one's already blocked. But I think it is connected. Oh, is the whole thing full already? Wow. Okay. Maybe we're not going to have that much trouble uh, with the, uh, the pipe throughput. Alright, so we're just going to do a um, going to need a power pole or something, otherwise this won't reach. Make this a substation. Perfect. And this is oil. Provider. And we just need to pump this over... over here. Cool. Yeah, that's giving us like a thousand every couple of seconds. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm 
Okay, let's head back. Um, maybe I should signal this properly, at least a little bit. And we should probably start getting some trains in place as well. I'm a little sad that I may have overlooked the other the other way of doing rocket fuel before, but considering the insane number of machines that it would take uh, to get decent throughput, like 50 liquid rocket fuel per second, um, I wouldn't be surprised if I had a look at that before and said, nah, we're good. Hopefully we've got... Did I not bring any locomotives? Uh, I've got some in my inventory, I know that much. LFFL train can go here. We're going to need a short train to deliver fuel. And we're going to want to request solid rocket fuel. This is for short trains, right? Yeah. Uh, we're going to want to request solid rocket fuel. Um, I think we decided to just use short trains for this. Oh, I'm already out of locomotives. Okay. That's going to take some handcrafting. I've still got cargo wagons. What am I missing here? Steel. Maybe I should plunk down a machine or two to make some multi cylinder engines. Single cylinder engines. Gears. And iron plate. Where's my iron plate? That'll help. Uh, and give us like a stack of those. Or two. Does this have filters on it? It doesn't. It's probably fine. Uh, and we need to request, based on what we've got in the logistic network, plus the cargo landing pad. Uh, so... We're going to need a signal transmitter. I might just move the umbrella. I can't actually do it that way. When's the next coronal mass ejection? Uh, let's see. Coronal mass ejection headed for Nervous in one day. Oh, and that's Hagen. And then another one for Nalvis in only six minutes, actually, even though it's the second one listed here. 
Uh, I'll just double check. I'm pretty sure Hagen's good. Umbrella wise, yeah, we're good. Or oh, should be. I haven't done a steam battery or anything. Um, for Hagen. How much? How long have we got? One day should be fine. Twenty six gigajoules over. Oh, it's far from the uh, it's far from the sun, so it's really weak. 0.33 gigawatts peak power. I don't think we're even going to need any energy storage on Hagen. 0.33 gigawatts peak power. That's like less than we're currently using. Did you drop your pumps off to finish the refinery build? I did not. I have like nine. That might actually be enough. But it won't be enough if we have to double this refinery build to keep up with our um, to keep up with our cargo rockets in my current run I ignored the first three coronal events nothing got damaged so far nice luck um, this is supposed to be a bulk rail loader, which is why these pumps have been moved. And I should probably double check over here. I could probably just do a copy paste. It might fix all of the wiring. It does not. So it's basically just green wire on the containers. Nothing special here. That should be fine. Uh, Boovim, pink pajamas, and if I didn't say so, Budgie Bum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. CMEs are likely to miss if you have uh, the whole planet in view, yes. And then you can save scum. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to save scum generally, especially on stream. Um, okay, so we're going to want our signal transmitter about here, because we're going to want to read from... The logistic network plus whatever's in this container um, to determine what we've already got. Um, I guess we're multiplying that by negative one and we're going to have constant combinators as positive for what we're asking for. I could add a check um, that we're not sending out negatives from the logistic network when bots are moving stuff around, but that's going to be A, very rare, and B, very small, although I did do it back here. Um, we said if space capsule less than 10, ask for 100. I, start that, I started that out as 30, but if we're going to have a large number there, then it really doesn't have to have an exception to the rule. So it's basically just positive numbers for how much stuff we're asking for. Well, it depends on how large. Like, if it was 500 stacks, which would trigger a, a launch on its own. No, that still doesn't... I think I should just set this to 100. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, and this is just letting LTN know what the robot network has. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to have what we have times negative one, what we want times one, and send that to Nalvis. Um, so I'm going to call this... What's this planet called again? Gibil. G-I-B-I-L.
you build multi-rocket quests. And was it on the green wire? I think it was probably on the green wire. It does matter which wire with these transmitters. And I think for the most part... Oh, we only needed the steel plate because we were doing the petroleum barrels. I mean, I could. But we ended up not sending these. Um, we're still burning petroleum because it ends up completely full. A hundred is a lot? Yeah, it really is. Um, let's see. We want probably just the iron plate, cargo rocket sections packed, media defenses, and let's just go space capsule 100. It should be pretty hard to go through a hundred launches without needing something else sent. There's one more thing about CMEs, even if they hit something, they're unlikely to hit anything of value. Yeah, speaking of CMEs, uh, there's one headed for Nalvis right now. Which is still using the steam batteries, so we're not going to have any trouble there. Um, I think it used, like, less than a fifth, or at least less than a third of the steam that we have stored up here uh, when it deals with the CME. Yeah, it's already getting close to peaking and we've got uh, 48,000 per steam tank out of 50k still remaining. There's the peak, so it's going to be about 6,000 steam. We could do this four times. Steam battery OP? I mean, it's a, it's a fairly big investment to build it. And yeah, you do lose power. Uh, like, there is an efficiency loss flashing the water to steam uh, using the electric boilers. It's not like just a better accumulator. But yes, uh, they are quite strong. The issue with steam battery is the amount of turbines one needs. Yeah. And the, the number of turbines needed is just determined by the peak. Uh, peak power that you need. Okay, so this is already... This is actually all we need for this. We're going to have to set up on Hagen... Uh, another multi-rocket system like this. I think I would like to have them next to each other, to be honest. So we could have... Um, a requester station like that. Um, like that. And basically do the same thing, and they could share some resources. Um, the cargo rockets could probably go, like, here. And this could go here. And we'll have to do pretty much the same logic. But let's bring our construction train over in this general direction. Uh, I'll keep it there indefinitely. At least for now. And we need to start setting up... Well, do we have any oil yet? We need water as well. And no, we don't have oil. Did I not... Oh, I didn't get this train started. It doesn't have any fuel yet. We need the train to go get the oil to make the fuel, but it doesn't have the fuel. Uh, it's a nice catch-22. 
let's just give it some solid rocket fuel and it should immediately schedule a pickup over here yes fantastic as for our short train uh whoa don't get run over i think i'm just gonna park it right here for now Oh wait, no, it'll have to... I'll have to pick up the solid fuel myself to get the whole thing started. A little bit. Unless I want to give this thing some... Solid fuel. Uh, some rocket fuel, rather. LCL train number one. And probably the only one can go here. I could take some coal and throw it in a fuel processor. Let's do that. Oh. And chest over here. Am I out of chests? I guess so. Okay. We only got 23 multi-cylinders out of that. Um, I guess I need to give it some more iron. Feed the processed fuel to the shot train. Do we have any more turbines? Nope. Let's remove. Oh, I already have a blueprint for this. No more wind turbines. Oh wait, I didn't mean to remove the existing ones. Uh okay. That'll probably be fine. There goes our crude oil. We also need to supply water. Which I think we're going to get from over here, probably. Um, on the other hand... No, that's, that's further out of the way. Can I get this to go here without blocking that? It would appear not. Alright, then. Highway down here. Uh, where did I put that blueprint for? Did I not blueprint it? Oh, here it is. Corner. There it is. I should put that next to the highway. And we'll pick up water from here. Let's go... Place that rail. Oh, and I forgot to supply construction bots to the mall. That'll go a bit faster when we want to build something. Okay, manual drive. Down we go. Let's 
stuff if I want the train bots to do things. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. It's probably fine. In fact, it means it'll be easier to come back. It's actually as close as we can get to the uh, oil block as well. I guess I could have put the oil block next to water. But as long as we're not processing sulfur or something, it really doesn't need water that fast. Oh, there's another mineral water we're paving over. You know what? I'm not going to be extracting mineral water from here, so why do I care? Okay. Um, probably gone a bit too far, to be honest. Let's bring you back here for the moment. And stop. And we want... The Wizard Sam. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Is there a list of mods you use? Yes. Uh, you can type exclamation mark mods or you can scroll down. Okay, uh, I want a provider station over here, and a huge container, a couple of pumps, and let's get our water somehow. A single offshore pump should probably be enough, to be honest. Thanks, you're welcome. Uh, we've got the underground steel, so let's use it. Oh, it actually wasn't enough to reach in one. Oh well, it's probably fine. Uh, we'll even put that there. Substation, right about here. Power pole. And then, one, two, three, four... Uh, we probably want this rail going down this way, like so. That straight rail is going to bug me if I leave it there. And some signals. Cool. Now we need some connections. Uh, provide threshold, short trains or long trains are fine. Not that I think we're going to have any uh, short trains doing fluids on this planet. So let's see, we can do 1250 water per second from this one pump. And we need up to, theoretically, 440 per second, even if all of the cracking was happening simultaneously. So I think that'll be fine, actually. In fact, I seriously doubt we need this pump. Save a tiny bit of power. That's already 35k out of 50 that it takes to trigger a delivery. Right, let's go back. And... Do we have... No. Uh, we need a water delivery to happen. Oh, we're not requesting water here. Because this was built with... Uh, directly... Supplying the water in mind. 
All right, we can fix that real quick. Uh, we'll need a big container here and or here. And same thing on this side. Does this reach the logistic train stop output? I could do it like that, but we've already got um, the substations here, so let's use them. So we're just connecting to the logistic train stop output. Um, and that's going to give us a negative one signal for whichever fluid the train is trying to get rid of. So we're going to say heavy, uh, sorry, crude oil less than zero, and water less than zero. And that should be it. Except that we need to bring our water down here, I think, yes. Very good. And we need to actually request the water. Fantastic. All right, so we'll soon be getting our solid fuel to run the trains and light oil to run the uh, liquid rocket fuel production, which we don't actually have yet. But we can just copy paste that. From Grenis. And this is why we brought lots of atmospheric condensers. You know what? I may as well just extend... Oi! Extend RoboPort range down here somewhere. That's on construction mode, right? If I copy-paste it... Yeah, there we go. That's good. That should all get done automatically. Did I not bring the efficiency modules, though? Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I did bring, what are they called? Electronic components, 971. We're missing 94 efficiency modules. Efficiency one needs five. 24 times five, 470. Uh, we could probably almost do that twice. I'm hoping, but not expecting. Um, whoops, what am I, what should I press? Uh, I'm hoping, but not expecting one block the oil and one block for liquid rocket fuel to keep up with this since we're not sending multiple rockets back well oh we were going to send multiple rockets back uh because we want raw imicite hmm okay I might end up having to double this after all how many uh, Atmo condensers did we mit, uh, did we bring? Hundred and one, and this build is sixty nine. Oh, that's not powered. It's not going to build itself. Now it should start building itself. Oh, there goes our train. 
And there goes our solid fuel. More than enough to fill up our trains for fuel at the moment. We need one, two, three, four, five, six fuel refineries. And probably a bunch of pipe after this. I'm not sure why the Atmo condensers aren't getting placed yet. Construction bar at 110. Oh, because these are not, like, connected properly? Oh, wait, it didn't put this down in construction mode. There we go. I need to remember to pack fuel refineries next time. We didn't actually remember to pack them, did we? We did not. Okay. How many more pipe do we need? At least one. And we need some pumps as well. Uh, Hagen Orbit is missing the clamp because I was just planning that. Gibil is missing 150. Um, efficiency modules, actually. And a bunch of rail signals. They're over here. That doesn't really matter, I don't think. Alright, let's just churn out all the efficiency modules we can, I guess. Do I have some prod modules? I don't. That's fine. Request a chest. Uh, uh, make it two. Copper cable zero. Uh, and that should be everything we need to get some... Actually, make it a... Uh, too late. Uh, get some efficiency modules trickling through. Actually, make it, like, less than... Pick up two, fantastic. Uh, let's go drop off that fuel. Into our short train. And in here as well, I guess. How much solid fuel is here already? Apparently I set it up so that we're only pushing the solid fuel to the front. I'm not sure why we have two of the... Oh, I see. It's just more storage. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, we already have three quarters of a short train of solid fuel. Uh, I think... Oh, wait. 
I'm pretty sure I disabled tracking from light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I disabled cracking from light to petroleum. Since the whole point of this is light oil for... Um, for liquid rocket fuel. Uh, that kind of breaks the connections though, but I don't really want extra pumps lying around here just for wire connections. How about I just delete all of these, copy these across, and that one's actually not needed, uh, and then get rid of these. Well, why don't I just get rid of all of the chemical plants as well? For cracking light. To petroleum. That should push uh, that oil back into the network. Not as worried about the water. Wait, that doesn't... Those are not the ones I wanted to remove. Oh. Okay, that one actually isn't unnecessary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one's not needed. And this one here is not needed. That's not going to reach. We can just not read logistic network contents. So we can piggyback off that. And get rid of all these extras. Fantastic. Alright, so we're cracking all heavy to light. We're not cracking any light to petroleum. Uh, we're turning all petroleum into solid fuel. And... If and when we max out petroleum despite that, we're going to start venting it. But only when all of these are completely full. Is our short train not activated? There we go. And it's already set to pick up solid fuel. Uh, I was going to say, so now we just need our liquid rocket fuel production area, but we've actually done that. However... We need to double check that it's all functional. Uh, that doesn't look functional. How did that get there? Has this one been broken the whole time? Oh no. Uh, construction train? What do you got? We have some... Express... Yeah, there we go. Let's get... We've got plenty of space in here, right? Let's get one stack of express everything into the construction train. Probably don't need the splitters, but whatever. It is okay, it's the output. Um, do we have room in this? Yeah, we do.
loaders. We've only got 40, actually. And then belt. I could have sworn we had belt. Oh, we've got only 35 belt. And then... Only two express underneathies? Uh, we're really cutting it close here. Okay. And are they both broken like that? Uh, it looks like the answer is yes. Oh wait, no no no, this is actually correct. Uh, I'm a derp. Because we don't want the iron plate going down there, we want the solid fuel. I thought I would have discovered that mistake sooner. <laughs> If it actually was a mistake. It is okay, it's the output, indeed. Alright, cool. So we're just waiting for iron plate. Um, I want to do two things about that. The first of which is set up an iron mine plus smelter up here. And the second... Uh, on second thought... If we're going to be requesting iron plate here from Hagen, um, I definitely want that iron plate to be arriving from here first. So we don't send as much by cargo rocket. Um, so let's just do... I could just put a requester station right here. That'll be less work for... bots. But then, if I want to put something here... it might be a bit of a problem. Let's do it down here. Okay, requester. And I'm just going to request iron ore there directly. This is going to step away from the standard blueprint that I wanted to make out of this, but it should be pretty easy to make those little adjustments when I do want to blueprint it. This one also needs to know what we've got. Uh, also, also, we may as well push it into the cargo landing pad. Wait, no. Because uh, this is going to be iron ore. Let's just... Which train is out of fuel? It's on this planet. It's fine. Uh, how's our fuel looking? Oh, it's actually saturated. That doesn't sound right. Is this part working? Yeah, it just doesn't have that much yet. Okay. Um, I might just go steal some solid rocket fuel. To rescue our train. It ran out at both ends at the same time? Really? Okay. Iron plate. How fast is this? 7.5 per second should probably be pretty good, to be honest.
I guess we don't need to check the robot network um, for iron ore. I might just set this up with loaders as well. Because why not? How fast is it? 7 point... Well, it's only 3.5 per second, but still. May as well use stacks. Limit the distance the bots have to travel. Uh, and we want... I run ore. Couple of train loads. And... And then we'll just do a standard mine up here. Lazy mine. Seems good. Let's grab our highway. Bring it up this way. Close enough. Could, could we do it without the... There we go. And then... I suppose like this would be a bit cleaner looking. And then over here. Let's go build that. Minus the wind turbines that we don't have. Hey, Captain True. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Things look good. Happy with the progress? Yeah, I think so. Um, I might need some more signals. I definitely need some more signals. Oh, it's just, uh... It's just regular signals, I guess. Oh, I still haven't figured out exactly how I want to do this part. Uh, maybe we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Alright, that looks like it has full coverage. Let's get some power. Fantastic. Get out of here, scrap. Alright, as soon as we have enough iron... We are going to notice that we don't have a cargo wagon, a double cargo wagon train. I need one more locomotive. And LCCL train is here. Is the rightmost station connected to both rails there? Yes it is. Or or not. Now it it will be. I should put do some more signaling there, but the overall rate of traffic through here is gonna be practically nothing, so I'm not too worried about it to be honest. And 
10 more seconds and we'll have a locomotive. Uh, it's even got some fuel it can take. Oh, it's even more than 10 seconds. There we go. Alright, you can go to depot. And probably none of these have a train load yet. But that should be our supply of iron plate. Um, and then we should probably make it available. So that we can make our liquid rocket fuel. Now that I think of it. Um... Alright, I think we'll just copy the load everything from the rail network, uh, load everything from the logistic network into LTN train. Was that only a short train though? I think it is, and this allows short trains. That'll work, especially with how slow the iron is. Uh, upside down, upside down. Hmm. If I remove the train stop, we can flip this. And then... Train stop goes here. to make a big requester. Did I not bring... Yeah, I did. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Warehouse is in here. Make one of those one of those. And apparently we're also missing some combinators. I've actually, have I actually used up my combinators? No, I don't have any bots apparently. Or... What? I have construction bots. I have personal roboport. I have electricity... And yet, these decider combinators are not getting built? Are they in the robot network? They are not. Constant combinator, decider combinator, arithmetic combinator. Oh, my robots aren't switched on. <laughs> Turn on the bots. Yes, indeed. Iron mine on the right doesn't have the rail. Oh, yeah, yeah, we fixed that. Oh, and there's our first load of iron. Okay, so I think this is only going to be for iron, but it's a bit more versatile. Uh, we're going to do... Exactly this standard pickup station. Where we tell it what we've got in the robot network. And there should now be a delivery for iron plate. Fantastic. The set requests isn't working because I haven't connected it yet. I'll just double check. Uh, that actually... It's a bit more complicated than I realized it would be. Okay. Is it contents of the train times negative one? 
Yes. It's a little bit hard to see. But yes, it is. Contents of train times negative one. Uh, logistic train stop output goes to here. And then we have the set requests and subtracting what's already in the train. And we should get precisely what the train is asking for loaded in. And once it gets close, only one inserter is going to swing, and it's going to have its stack size set. Perfect. It's actually a little bit extra. What? I guess it won't matter this time. So that should be the start of our solid rocket UL. Uh, once this train gets out of the way with its slow, relatively slow unload of light oil. Um, I just need to make sure the trains don't run out of fuel before the refueling system gets saturated. Come to think of it, maybe instead of all these belts I should do a bot system in the future for loading the trains with fuel, but on the other hand, uh, I don't want to have to worry about the robot networks that might be close to it. And we did come up with a f surprisingly neat uh, belt system to supply these things. Oh, it actually is saturated already. Nope, nope, I fell for it again. Bits of it are saturated. It's fine. The trains will keep working, that's the main thing. Alright, so that's our first liquid rocket fuel. Did we end up having enough... Yeah, we're still... We're still making the efficiency modules. I think we'll end up having enough for this one block at least. Uh, and we need to build our system for supplying uh, this is going to be set to Gibbel multi-rocket requests uh, greater than zero How symmetrical can we make this? Mostly? So we're reading from the robot network. I guess we don't need the second station up here. Actually. Yeah, we really don't. Oh, we do for the... Uh... We do for the um, liquid rocket fuel, though, unless we want to share, which I don't think we do. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, there's so many, there's so many deliveries. Oh no. Um. Well, <laughs> that's uh. I guess at least for the moment. We'll let them drop some stuff off. Um, so what's all this then? Times negative one. That's actually kind of complicated. It's actually more than a little complicated. Especially with this, uh, signaling. I'd feel slightly better if I was there physically. I could just copy-paste mirror. But 
the roboport is going to be in the way a bit. Yeah, we could do it like that. Wait, what? Oh, it was one tile... One tile higher. And this thing as well. Uh, I could put it over here, but it's going to be a bit more messy. It's red wire from there, green wire from there. Green wire is on the output. Red wire also goes to the rocket E. Green wire from the green signal and from the inserters and over to this thing. Over here, I think. That's the same connection. Alright, we're going to need some power over this way. And we're pointing this one at Ibil. What was the uh, target called? Rannis Mall? I think we'll call this one Ibil Mall. Connect green wire to unloaders so you don't get even more stuff. Uh, that. Oh no, I don't have the, um, I don't have the constant combinator requesting stuff switched on over here. So we're only going to want a liquid rocket fuel on this side. Whoops. Liquid rocket fuel. And once these are empty, I'll get rid of them. We've already got the space capsule. Cargo rocket sections are lacking somewhat. Okay. So there's no there's no cargo rocket sections. That is probably not good. Cargo rocket sections packed. There's almost a train load. And we're missing rocket control units. Rocket control units are missing advanced circuits. Advanced circuits are missing nothing. They're just a bit slow. since we put prod modules in them. Um, so I might want to double that so that we can have the productivity bonus. So we have prod... it's prod 3s. Prod 3s, there aren't any here. Uh, there's... is that 493? Prod 3s? Uh, it is. Okay, I need to fix the logic for this. Um, I'm thinking... So here we have, if prod 1 greater than prod 3, push it to the bulk rail loader. That works. But prod 1 less than prod 3 doesn't really work. We could just say if prod 3... Well, what are we keeping prod 3s here for? I 
think we need to read from these to make our decision. But that would mean more wires, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So if if prod one is less than prod three, and if prod one is greater than prod three, you know, we're going to try and balance these two. It's probably fine. Then again, wouldn't it saturate prod ones here before we allow the inserters to pick up any? I think we should just not bother with that and measure from this like we were and just check for some constant. Um, if prod 1 greater than 50 and for prod 3s I'm not sure why we're even keeping, this, keeping them in this robot network. Uh, I guess I could keep a few stacks here just to make sure that I can personally come and pick them up. So I'm just going to change those to the appropriate type of module. Efficiency 1. Efficiency 3. The hose, Boovim. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Connect green wire to unloaders so you don't get even more stuff. Green wire to unloaders. Uh, we can't connect any wires to these things. But yeah, I think I'll just... I'll just check for greater than X in the container. And there's no limit on making the tier threes. It's gonna make quite a lot actually. There, is there a limit on the tier threes? There isn't. Maybe there should be. Uh, less than 250? Because we're already filling a cargo wagon full of them. We've actually got 1.3k tier 3 efficiency modules here. We're really not having any trouble with the efficiencies. It's only Immersite Crystal and Vulcanite block that's a problem for these. But regardless, um, we do have a bunch of prods available. Um, I'm thinking... Oh. Okay. I was going to set it up so that our construction train would have them. Uh, but I'll save that until we're at a bit of a higher scale. Uh, what I might do instead is simply expand this robot network up here. And we're gonna run... Oops. Uh, we're gonna run a module inserter over it. Looking for prod threes. Like that. So where's our construction train? Oh, it went back? God damn it. We just need the one RoboPod. Wouldn't you need a basic cap on all module production to control resources? Yeah, but we really want those modules. Efficiencies are basically free because we've got infinite cryonite. Oh, don't tell me. You don't have the... Cons okay. Okay. I actually
actually... Yeah, circuit equals zero means it's going to move, right? Once it's loaded. No, green... Oh, it's not receiving green signal. Wait, green signal equals zero should be true if it's not receiving it, right? Or do we need to... Send to tray. Okay. Interesting. I don't suppose we got our RoboPort? I can't tell. I wish it would sit still for a moment. But I can't look at what it's got if I do that. Uh, that's an easy way to trigger the train to move. How to set up so that the fluids at one stop do not mix if there are two tanks. With LTN, um, there is the yellow combinator looking thing called the logistic train stop output. Um, and once the train gets there, if it's trying to empty fluid, you'll get a negative one signal for that type of fluid. So you just need to connect that to the pumps and look for negative one or less than zero. Simple as that. What's this train doing? Is it out of fuel? It's not out of fuel. Is it a traffic problem? It kind of is. It's an out of fuel traffic problem. All right. There we go. Also, we got our iron plate. Fantastic. Uh, come to think of it, I should make this a purple chest. So that... We end up with 50k iron plate. So that the rocket won't bother sending iron plate. Well, the bots are not having trouble keeping up with that. Interesting. Uh, 4.8k... is 12.5 chests. So it's more than this, just for the iron plate. I think we could have a bit more storage. Do I have enough steel? Probably. Uh, how many do I need here? 48 plus 16. There's actually a few there. Thanks for the info, you're welcome. Um, I could maybe do with some more... Some more trains. Which mostly means multi-cylinder engines to take the heat off of handcrafting them. I think I said limit that to two stacks. I did. Fantastic. Okay, back to Hagen. Um, does this actually get... Oh yeah, we're missing cargo rocket sections because red circuits are busted, which is why we're trying to move this. Alright, do you have... Yes, you do. Roboports. Once those have prod modules, 
which should be in just a moment. Actually, we've only got logistic bots here. Uh, okay. In that case, we should request some modules here, I think. Let's send the train back. It's already coming back. It's going to take a lot of stacks to carry as many modules as we might need over here. Where does this line up? Like this. And I like this. And I like this. Nope, that's not quite right. We got the logistic train stop input in the copy paste. Okay. So this goes it's gonna have to move. Is it is that it? Three and a three and a half of these, yes. Seems good. We're gonna double our advanced circuits but with prod modules. How much space do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six stacks. Um, let's look for two stacks of prods. So, a hundred? And that was with the chests. Hundred. Um, and we're going to need a smaller provide stack threshold right here. Let's just make it one. One stack is a decent number. Well, for efficiency threes it is. Um, oh, where are you going with that? Lazy science resupply. Okay. I wonder why... We already had... Oh, 40 stacks, not 80. I was going to say, we already had 40 stacks. Well, I was going to literally say we already had 80, but that's not true. So for the small modules, we're looking for a full cargo wagon. Um, for the larger ones, uh, just one stack for a pickup threshold. I might even make the, la uh, the smaller modules that we have to spam into science, uh, double trains, we'll see, but yeah, we should be having prod modules in our construction train now, um, it's actually short on electric, uh, do we not have electric boilers. We have 51. Provide stack threshold is 1. So why doesn't it deliver request stack threshold 1? We've had those electric boilers available to be delivered for ages, actually. I wonder why they haven't been brought over. Robo Jumper, Emo, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Electric boiler. Oh, the stack request isn't. It's not high enough. We need to put at least twenty-five here. There we go. And what about 
flare stack. We've only got 15. Uh, we probably need to automate a few more of those. If I can find where we're automating them. There we go. Uh, 50. Cool, cool, cool. If you place down a space elevator, does it pop out at the same coordinates in space? Uh, yes, I believe that's how it works. I think I played with it a little bit a while ago. Um, to check that, there's our electric boilers. Now we can load them into the train and move on to the next thing, which is flare stacks. Flare stacks are not yet on the way. Can we skip the flare stacks this time? There's our modules. Fantastic. All right, uh, so we're going to park up here, wait for inactivity, and I might have to do a little bit of wiring. Also a bit of belting over here. But that'll basically be it in one. Can we do a blue belt there? Almost goes all the way. Okay. Uh, looks like we're a bit short on prods so far. But we got the prods on this side, so let's make sure... Electronic... Oh, I got rid of some of the inserters over here. There we go. And I think for now I might just... Well... How many more prods do we need here? 140. Asking for a hundred at a time. Let's fix that, I guess. There should be about three hundred here. Fantastic. And we need a bit of red belt as well. That's fine. Sifa Cat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. How's your stream today? Hey, Veldak. Obada. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's it been being able to play Factorio again, Veldak? Um, we should have those flare stacks by now. We don't have those flare stacks by now. They're actually not even on the way. So I'll have to remove the request for them in the train. It's great. Fantastic. Professional Dave. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should have been in bed two hours ago, but I'm still up watching Factorio. <laughs> Better than playing it, in terms of sleeping or resting. Soulburn, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome also. Our green circuit's going to keep up. Uh, they might. Especially since we're prod moduling there and we're not for green circuits. 50 per second versus uh, 18 per second. I think they're going to keep up. But we're already bottlenecked, so we may as well keep pushing the bottlenecks until something happens. I 
like how this little inconvenience caused me to do what I should have done the first time. With, um... Getting the modules into the train. Oh, these are not powered? They are... No, we're too slow. Come back, train. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, so... Um, it looks like... Oh yeah, I didn't roll this out yet. So we should be getting uh, 11.88 advanced circuits per second. Minus how much speed? It's actually at one quarter crafting speed, so this is still uh, half of what we had before we gave it prod modules. I set them go supply station after coming out of elevate. Oh, right, for the trains. For the elevators. Alright, we might still bottleneck on red circuits, but. Um, if I haven't already, I should probably crank up the request priority over here. Because we really... Oh. Well, it was indirect, though. That should probably still be a high priority. It's also reminded me of what I should do... Um, down here. No, not here. Over here. I could actually just... Connect this. Did I turn that off? I did. Uh, and now both of these stations can act as the same drop-off. Cool. Go visit this for a sec. Did we get flares? We did not. Flare stack. We've got 15. I guess it's just a really low priority build. And there's a lot we're still trying to catch up on. Looks like everything that needs red circuits we're trying to catch up on here. And this needs rocket control units which needs red circuits. Okay. I think we might want to double our red circuit build. Let's bring it down here. And turn these off for a second. Copy paste. And turn those back on. That way we can avoid dropping off the resources there until um, until we've got our prod modules in place. You're now enjoying 20 to 25 percent speed bonus. What's that? Something got broken on logic board. I it just stopped working and didn't power up. Repair was expensive. Better to get a new one. Unfortunate. I must have that... Uh, the new laptop works great. Tuned graphics to the max on my SE map runs at 60. Nice. Haven't even heard any fans running yet. That's probably... That's good, assuming they work. Which I would certainly hope so. The new machine. Are we just about done loading? And 
one's done. Okay, let's start building another red circuit block. Oh, that's... I need inactivity. There we go. Oh, it has more range than I thought. We'll still need to get down there in order to... Make sure the rails are finished. Okay. I doubt we're going to get the whole thing done in one go. In fact, I'm sure we won't. What are we doing back on this planet, though? Oh, how much iron do we have? Already 8.5k. That's good. Uh, I know this is going to keep up with the liquid rocket fuel production. We're actually only one efficiency... Oh, we're, we're a handful of efficiency modules short. Are we still making them? We're out of copper. Really? Uh, okay, how about... Recycler? I need heat shield? I thought I brought heat shield. With the rocket. Yeah, I did. Do I not have a request for heat shield? That's surprising. Uh, heat shield and LDS. Okay. Recycling facility. Another requester. And... Scrap. Um, I'm not even going to bother with the heavy oil. I don't have a flare stack. Let's just put this here. And we can delete it. And then... Uh, the only furnaces I've got are big. Well, we can probably fit them. We can almost fit them. Iron plate, copper plate... Uh, rare metals. Uh, and stone. It's just a, a tiny amount of copper. Do we have some copper we can actually mine? There's 360k over here. So that's a yes. Um, I think I'll just do a direct... Oh, hold on. Nucrium, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Uh, how's your stream today? Dwarf Fortress, nice. I heard the new Dwarf Fortress uh, with like actual graphics and UI is coming out in like 30 days or less. Gavin Hawk, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how, how y'all doing? December 6th. Very exciting. I was actually thinking about streaming that. 
Although I haven't played Dwarf Fortress in a long time. Which version of SE is this? Uh, it's 0. 0.6, although I haven't updated it for a while. Put like a month into the last version, can't bring myself to update and restart, understandable. Um, I was thinking about maybe processing on the spot here, but I think I'd rather throw out some lazy mines as usual. Does that actually cover them? It might do. Um, and I'm thinking the laziest of rail going up here. Just got back. Nice progress. Uh, thank you. Next level of Lazy 9 would be smelting at patch and then loading. Um, I mean, I could probably make a version that does that. It'd be a lot harder to make it fit, I think. Alright, and that's going to go there. And this is going to be chain signals. Um, break it up like this. That'll be close enough. That, that That's more than enough for this, like, low throughput planet. Uh, we'll need some big power poles to come down to our mine. Just barely managed to dodge uh, the rocks getting in the way. I also meant to check if our... This actually seems to work pretty well. I think the logic that we added to try to balance these was actually unhelpful before. It will of course become a problem when we run out, but that's always true. Okay, so we've got copper ore available. Um, I'm going to request it into the mall. And instead of this direct pickup of iron ore straight into the furnaces, I think we'll throw it into the robot network. Or alternatively, if we're not going to add any more requests to the mall, I could put some filters on these. And make that one copper. And put some furnaces here. Bit of belt. And I guess... Uh, and we'll just say if... Well, those don't have to be active providers. We're not requesting copper by cargo rocket. We'll just fill those chests up. Alright, so we're going to request iron and copper at this station. I'm not even going to bother with the usual station name since this isn't our main uh, rail network. And we're going to know exactly what this is for at a glance, since the rail network is so small here. Alright, so we're looking for two train loads of copper ore, which we definitely don't have just yet. But if I drop the provide stack threshold down... Temporarily, that actually took no time at all to trigger a delivery. How many planets are you on? Uh, one, two, three, four. Not counting orbits. 
We're on Nalvis, of course, Granis, Hibil, and Hagen. That's all. Uh, I guess with the way I signaled that, the train actually had to wait for something. Surprisingly enough. It's fine, though. That direct loading is a cool idea on the loaders. It's it's perfectly good for this use case, yeah. Because we can take eight cargo wagons uh, in each of these bulk rail unloaders. Um, oh, in that case, I should probably drop these requests a little bit. Let's go 12k each. So we're going 1. Uh, 1.5 train loads. So like a cargo wagon and a half of iron, a cargo wagon and a half of copper maximum in each of these. Even if it somehow gets imbalanced, it shouldn't uh, cause any issues. What will restart research? Uh, probably if I just click on something, because I forgot... Uh, I've got to have research do its thing. Okay, uh, we also need some power for those inserters. There's our copper, which means we can turn all of our electronic components into efficiency modules, which is probably, hopefully, enough to finish efficiencing these up. Um, but I don't know what the liquid rocket fuel throughput is going to be like. We're probably going to end up having to double the oil and liquid rocket fuel blocks. Which means I'll have to do more efficiency modules. I mean, we don't strictly have to, but it's probably a good idea. Uh, let's see. Give to me all of the solar panels. Pretty please. And I definitely don't need this many construction bots. nor chemical plants, rail or steel undergrounds. Okay. Let's go expand our solar. Just double check, but yeah, we've got all of our media defenses ready. How much power do we have spare? Hard to say when our accumulators are still charging. Oof, they only actually hit full charge near the end of the day. Uh, so let's hurry up and expand this. Space exploration? I've tried it before. Sadly, the biters always get me. Thinking of trying it once without them enabled. I think you can have no biters on Nalvis, but they will be on other planets. Um, but yeah, that's definitely something you can do. Down we go. And we copy paste. Might be a little bit tricky to line up. There we go. Dodger, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I really only bring this many more solar panels? I thought it was quite a lot. Seeing as I never got off Nalvis? Ouch. You can still reduce their potency? Yeah, that's true. Okay. 
I probably didn't pick up all the solar and accumulators, actually. I hope so. Bots are a bit upset with me for the moment. Turning off expansion does help a lot. I, I would strongly recommend it. Um, I mean, I enjoy uh, sometimes a spider challenge, but not with space exploration. I mean, we tried it with uh, Rampant, but I had expansion off. Or well, this is the same save, but I've turned off Rampant because we had UPS problems. Uh, it was actually completely fine until suddenly it wasn't. The UPS literally went from 60 to like 20 over the course of one minute because it was getting all of the biters to attack, I suppose. Um, where are our solar panels? Here we go. That is a decent number of solar panels. Any more accumulators? Nope, that's all of them. Vanilla of Deathworld is challenging and satisfying. I want to give K2 Deathworld a try. Yeah, the K2 weapons make it interesting as well. Um, but yeah, I, I turned off expansion because... Mostly because clearing a planet with expansion on is just a big chore. It, it's a big enough chore already without um, energy beams or pile drivers. We will have pile drivers after we get this planet sorted. So it's going to be a lot easier in future. I understand they also massively buffed, uh, reduced the cost of pile drivers, and they made the nuke version more expensive. What's your long-term strategy? Rushing the space elevator or something else? Uh, yeah, relatively rushing space elevators uh, and spaceships, and we're going to have. Uh, kind of spoilers, uh, but there is an anomaly called Foenestra, and Foenestra is located 10,000 distance from everything, uh, which is really quite a short distance. Um, so it's a bit complicated to set it up, but what we're going to do is have basically a, a dispatching and stopover at uh, at Foenestra for our spaceships. So they're going to travel from... This is one of the reasons why I've set up on Hagen, because the travel distance to the interstellar map is as short as possible. Once you get to the interstellar map, uh, if your destination is Foenestra, it's 10,000 distance to get there. Once you get to Foenestra your distance to any other solar system or, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh, not, interstellar version of, like, an asteroid belt. I don't want to say media swarm, that's not quite right. Uh, anyway, any of those interstellar destinations, they're all equally short distances away. So we're gonna go... From main base to Foenestra to destination to Foenestra to main base. Uh, and we're going to use spaceships for all of that. And I want to have outposts that are even smaller. Like, this is almost finished. I want to have outposts that are even smaller than this. We don't do any processing. Or minimal processing, maybe. Because, for example, um, what is it called? Immersite? Breaking it down to crushed immersite, stack size gets way, way better. Except that we have to deal with stone as well, but that's just one processing uh, step. Um, but yeah, generally, we're not going to process core fragments on planet. We're just going to put them straight in a spaceship, and we're going to mitigate the tiny stack size with... Uh, the Foenestra trips. But also, you don't actually necessarily gain that many stacks 
uh, in terms of um, transporting fewer stacks. Wait, what the? There we go. Uh, even without prod modules, some core fragments are actually you're actually better off transporting them without breaking them down. Empty Null, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I've actually still got a few solar panels left, but we're out of accumulators. When do you get the next solar panel? Um, we've technically... I haven't researched it yet. We need 500 optimization tech cards. Let's have a look. Optimization tech cards, uh, we're actually backed up on those? Okay. I could probably research it right now. Let's queue it up next. How many have we made so far? Tech card, all time. Oh my goodness, that's not... Optimization tech card, it's not finding it. Here it is. Uh, we've made 490 so far. So I think we could probably throw that out whenever we want. HP Crosscher, Ezriak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why would you do only one? Only one what? Oh, some other discussion. Okay. Uh, we've still got solar panels here, so... Throw those out. And six more. Alright, I might just remove the ghosts, since we don't have any more accumulators. And see how that looks for power. Uh, that's that's looking a lot better. We're hitting. I mean, we the, the accumulator ratio changed, but we know we don't need that many for this planet because the nights are short. Um, but we're actually hitting max accumulator charge at the end of the morning. And we've got almost 200 megawatts to spare. So we could do, what, seven core mining drills? Uh, and that's before we... Oh, we do have... So how many efficiency modules was this? Uh, 150. How many have we got here? 33. Uh, five electronic components. We've only got 17 left. Okay, that's that's the end of our efficiency modules. Um, I hope we don't need to, but I'm sure we will need to double our liquid rocket fuel production. Um, to get a nice throughput from this planet. Which means I'll probably have to send more... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, send more components. Electronic components. Do I already have electronic components in this block? No, I don't. Didn't think so. We're still struggling to get cargo rocket sections going again, which is traces back to red circuits, which we're still trying to upgrade. Let's bring our train over here again. And we don't need the radar. And once that's finished, I'll turn that on and double our red circuits. 
We're actually bottling, bottlenecking on the assembly machines themselves, not the resources for the red circuits now, so it shouldn't be that bad. Also, I do have enough efficiency modules um, to massively reduce the fuel consumption, uh, the energy consumption on the fuel refineries, which is the main thing, if we double this. So I should probably just do that. Um, we could probably start mining core fragments already. Oh, I forgot. Um, I do need some accumulators. How many drills did I bring? Eight. Eight? That's... That doesn't sound right. I would have brought uh, something to the power of two, I would have thought. No, we've got eight. Okay. I said we could afford seven and a half anyway. At the moment. But yeah, I'll need the accumulators, uh, one per mine, just so that we can... I'll probably just place seven of them, we'll see. Um, just so that we can power control uh, the coal mines. Let's do a station down here somewhere. Move that up a bit. doop a doop Advanced solar panels incoming. Uh, let's see. Substation. We want a bit of belt here just so that we can control it. And a loader. and an accumulator. And we're just going to set this to say accumulator charge greater than 20%. And connect this. To LTM. Iridite core fragment. Green wire goes here. And signals go here. Very good. On to the next one. Which I guess is up this way. Oh, how fast is the first one on this little planet? 3.8 per second. That is not terribly fast. Okay. Um, I think I'll just... Because we're not going to be adding that much more um, to this rail system. I think I'll just do the laziest possible of rail up here. And we could actually do it... Yeah, that's fine. We're only using delivery cannon chest because it's 3x3 three three here. Uh, where's my loader? There we go. And accumulator. Charge greater than 20%. Is that what I put over here? A greater than 20. Yes, indeed. And then green wire once again. 
down here. And I'll just copy the whole station settings. And a substation. And power pods. Oops. need more rail. Oh, and I meant to add some trains as well. I've actually run out of cargo wagons a little bit. Let's go get some rail. Uh, let's place our double length LCCL train. I'll just wait for that cargo wagon. Actually, I could park myself here. We'll get the materials delivered. Fantastic. Don't forget to activate that train. Did I activate this one? I'm pretty sure I did, because I don't remember building one north to south. Uh, and then the next drill, probably up here. We'll just borrow this bit of rail. I suppose. Why don't I copy this? Oops. Nice and easy. Uh, I need more rail. Or I forget. Up we go. We already have a train load over here. Almost. Despite how relatively small this planet is. The stack size is just that small. I also need to remember to fix the signaling over here. Otherwise the train will not be able... Oh wait, no, that's not quite right. We need to do it like this. The train would not be able to leave. Normally I would signal this more, but we really don't need to worry. Uh, iron won't be consumed quickly on this planet. Like, three per second at the most. Or six per second if we double the liquid rocket fuel. We're actually out of logistic train stops. How many did I bring last time? Uh, this time, rather. 50. We've gone through 50 logistic train stops already. Mostly the depots that are needlessly big. That's fine, I guess. Give me another accumulator. And... Charge has to be greater than 20%. Substation. Big poles. And that's actually already done. Uh, wait a sec. No, it's not. Fantastic. So what's our rate right now? Four fragment... What? I thought I was looking at production. There we go. Core Fragment Iridite, uh, it's fluctuating, which is very weird. 
Maximum was like... Probably 450, 500 per minute. Oh, this one already stopped? Oh, because the accumulator... Wait, what happened to our power? Oh... The accumulator charge is dropping. And the accumulators that I just placed never got fully charged. Or oh, this one didn't. Meanwhile, this one is chugging along. That's why we've got two drills operating. But we do suffer from the diminishing returns, even though not every drill is active. But I'm not overly concerned about that right now. Um, I definitely want at least one more drill. I think I'll make sure we leave a bit of slack for the maximum number of drills that we use. Say, at least 100 megawatts spare. And let's just go with station like this. That's actually perfect. And we need a bit of the old logic again. Accumulator. Stop the drill if charge is below, is above, uh, stop it if it's, if we're at or below 20%. Okay. And don't forget the actual loader. And the big poles. And I could add some signals, but throughput here is going to be really low, regardless. Oh, I should definitely at least cut off this area. Signal-wise. Actually, is this whole thing just lacking signals? Yeah, it is. This part doesn't, though. That's okay. We've already got another 48k liquid rocket fuel waiting. Probably means this one isn't full yet. Oh, it's actually quite low. Is this working? Not enough light oil? Really? Something is wrong here. Is our liquid train stuck? Is LTN still worth it? Uh, I would definitely say so. Yujin Ha, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, where's our liquid train? I think it's stuck somewhere. Uh, is this it? Yeah. Oh, I see the problem. We didn't tell it about the water. Okay, let's just delete water from this, and we're done. Forgot to tell LTN about the water containers that I added here. So it was just infinitely trying to give it water. Meanwhile, light oil is completely saturated, um, but there isn't any light oil... For this, I could just connect this up here so that that's one less train trip that's necessary. 
I'm going to do the same thing again if I double it with uh, both of these blocks um, directly next to each other. So I don't suppose there's anything wrong with that. Except as long as that's the only consumer of light oil, um, I think we'll just not tell LTN there's light oil here. And with only a maximum of 300 light oil per second for the whole block, the shape of the pipes doesn't matter. Doing pretty well, K2 SE rampant with some friends, but it's uh, kind of brutal. It definitely is. Okay. How much power do we have? Hard to say until our accumulators are full. Looks like they only fill up halfway through the day now. Well, the fact that we started using core mining drills might have something to do with it. Is this one active? It is. So I want to check in a couple of minutes. Hopefully catch all the accumulators full. I might just have to... Well, if not come back here, then send some... Efficiency modules. I really should just double this and get it over with. Better to not have to come back. I mean, I did make the construction train, so I would be able to do it remotely. But it's a little easier this way. Is all this? What is it? What's happening with our? Oh right, it's probably just placing the signals. We're already at that point where we can feel the UPS when the signals are being placed. Also, have we run out of signals yet? I did bring the means to make more, but looks like the answer is yes. Uh, I guess it's easier to just handcraft at this point. We've only got... three stacks of signals that we need to make. We not have the copper? Uh, the bots are just a bit slow. Uh, what's this? Oh, I forgot I was not going to have a condition on that. So it's definitely imbalanced now. That's okay. So I definitely want to copy all of this, and all of this, and robots go burr. Uh, how close are we to resupplying this place? This train is looking very confused. What... what on earth happened? Oh, I think I see. Oh, that was... oh... oh... okay. Okay. Um, 
I need to rethink this wire here. Hmm. I need... Probably another RoboPort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just connect that one. That'll work. And we're completely full on storage here. Yikes. 193,000 iron plate. Okay. Um, I'm going to need you to drop that off at the mall. Oh, and we've got at least three trains queuing up. Yikes. Okay, uh, let's just bring the construction train over. And we're going to add some more storage. Can the train even get there? Uh, it looks like it can. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe? Trains queued up to drop off probably iron plate and a bit of steel. Yeah. Oh no. Um. Could you move out of the way for a sec? Perhaps. Greetings, Night Dancer. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I need to get the construction train somewhat close. To this, uh, to this build. And we're just going to spam some more storage. What about our red circuits and all that? Oh, I see bots moving. Uh, we are doing something here towards making cargo rocket sections, but we're still missing rocket control units. There must have been a delivery. Yeah, RCUs are in motion again, so that's good. It looks like we're keeping up now. I haven't prod moduled the RCUs. I should probably double this and give it prod modules. Um, but we should see cargo rocket sections getting produced now. Our train can't go that far. Hmm. How about if you park yourself over here? Will that be close enough? I think it will. Yes. And now the bots can empty all of this. Which, by the way, is not getting counted. I think I'll just switch off the constant combinator that's requesting over here for now. Uh, this is exactly the kind of thing that means it's a good idea to have a station where you can just empty a train. But I haven't bothered to do that this time. Maybe I should have. We might even need more containers than that. We'll see. How are we doing on this end? We need a lot more pipe. Uh, that should be fine. Let's do the usual pipe build. Um, something like this. And a request. 
quest uh... Oh wait, that can't... There we go. That'll do. I guess that didn't have to be a buffer. I was thinking of doing a shared chest, but whatever. More importantly, the bots will be able to build this now. We also need more... Oh, we're actually out of huge storage tanks. Um, I know we've got the steel for that. Steel beam, steel pipe. Steel beam, or steel pipe, steel beam. And outski. Huge storage tank, less than, let's say, 20. I had a weird situation, I turned off my LTN Combinator but it turned my requester station into a provider station. Oh. Uh, that's the kind of thing that you might avoid if you have the default settings for provide and stack, uh, request and provide threshold uh, set so high that they effectively never kick in. That way you have to actually give it a provide and or request threshold um, and it won't just make assumptions. Uh, and we're actually out of atmospheric condensers as well. I thought I calculated this. We do have 40 of these. Never mind. And we do have 32 huge storage tanks. So the bots are just being slow? Question mark? Um, I don't think we actually need this. Let's just head over there and build. Robots aren't coming over here for some reason. Because you connect still the storage amount to that lamp and it defaults to provide, yes. Um, if you don't change the default settings, the threshold is only a thousand. No robot coverage? It definitely looks like there's robot coverage. But whatever, we'll get it done. I need a bunch more uh, steel pumps as well. Down we go. Seems my robots are also being lazy. Oh, now we've suddenly... Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. It's not that my bots were being lazy, it's that this was already dibs by the construction network. I still need more rail chain signals. I should actually just automate it. Let's hurry up with that.
signal, chain signal. This is definitely going to be less work. And a passive provider. I can't wait for the passive provider. Let's do an active and just limit it. And they need the same thing. What core fragments does this planet offer? Iridium, or Iridite, I guess. Iridite, there we go. Speaking of which, um, we already have quite a lot of Iridite core fragments waiting to go into our cargo rocket. Um, I do see a few sections here, but those have probably been there since the beginning. I don't think we've supplied it yet. Yeah, this rocket isn't even able to launch. Uh, meanwhile, I see bots moving. I see rocket... I, I see all of the resources that we need. So we're making cargo rocket sections again. Fantastic. We can't prod these, can we? Oh, we can? Damn. Should probably get on that. If I just prod it as is, we're going to go from 0.5 cargo rockets per uh, sections per second to, what was it? Uh, minus 80% equals limit. I think it is at minus 80%. 0.25 crafting speed as opposed to 1.25. Yeah, it's one-fifth. But it might be worth not bottlenecking on the resources, even before we bother with uh, beacons, which we do have beacons now. And did I make it so I could fit the beacons on that build? It looks like I did. Yeah, we just have to move the substations. We might need medium poles for this one. How much power do we still have? Uh, quite a lot. The answer is yes. Prod all the things? Yeah, we are at that stage. We should start prod 3 everything. Then again, uh, with K2, speed and prod is waiting on... Immersite and Vulcanite. Vulcanite should be infinite, unless something's gone wrong. Liquid rocket fuel. We're actually missing Vulcanite for liquid rocket fuel. It's light oil. Uh-oh. Why are we not making... Oh, we haven't sent ice in a while. What happened? Well, there's your problem. Uh, we definitely have the ice of it. It's because we're not making cargo rocket sections on planet. I forget, but I think we couldn't have done, uh, the nitrogen, nitric, nitric, what's it? Ammonia, rather. We couldn't have done the ammonia solid rocket fuel on that planet because a waterless planet won't give us nitrogen from the atmospheric condenser. I think that's right. Do we have a atmo here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we checked this before. Oh, we can get nitrogen here. Oh, what about the hydrogen, though? <laughs> We're going to need water for that. So... It's kind of a moot point. Alright, so we're not getting Vulcanite, and therefore we're not getting, um... Prod 3s until we fix our... Cargo rocket section situation. Which we are doing. A train has picked up some more of these. Um... It's just... 
going to take its sweet time. Come to think of it, the cargo rocket sections have probably gone over here. I should probably bump the priority on this. The ice deliveries. Then again... Well, I was going to say Vulcanite isn't that high of a priority, but since uh, some of our metals we're using Pyroflux and we're not going to... We're trying not to have builds that don't use the Pyroflux. Um, I think I definitely do want this to be a high priority. Uh, except that one's just for ice, so that doesn't matter. It's actually this one. Where we're making the cargo rocket sections on the spot. That we want to bump priority. What are we missing? I'm guessing red circuits? No? Uh, cargo pod? Fast inserter? Wait, really? Have we just not resupplied fast inserter? We got rid of the build that was specifically for fast inserter. We've got 224 from the mall. And we're looking for request stack threshold 80. Well, there's your problem. I could probably just have the mall create 80 stacks of those. 4,000. Um, it's not the most unreasonable way to do it. Oh, wow. Yeah, considering how quickly we can make those with the quad speed threes, um, I think that's actually fine. If we have them all deliver those. Or is it just... Uh, it's actually only short trains that pick up from the mall. No, I think we put this here, but that was... We'd need 160 stacks to get rid of something that we've got a lot of in a double train. I could make this one accept short trains. That might be okay. It's going to get imbalanced, but is that actually a problem? Considering this is about its maximum already, probably not. Move those cannons from the mall and make some building space? Uh, yeah, I'll do that eventually. But right now I just want the quick fix for... There we go, fast inserters are being delivered to... Uh, to build cargo rocket sections so that we can deliver ice, so that we can get um, vulcanite, so we can get prod threes. Fantastic. How do you still have all this random stuff? Alright, what are we missing here? We are missing a lot of pipe, eight fuel refineries, uh, some windmills that we're not going to make, a single flare stack and a single pump. Okay. And give me back those chain signals. Looks like that might actually be finished. Uh, and I'm going to steal... Wait, we need eight of these. Was it really eight? One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I misread it? I definitely misread it. There we go. 
Um, I'm gonna steal some efficiency. No, 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 no. Bad bots. Steal some efficiency modules for the most energy expensive uh, items. So I need 12, right? Twelve efficiency modules. Ah, ah, ah. That's... we don't need more than two. And a one, and a two. Whoops. There we go. Uh, and then maybe module inserter. Uh, what are these things called again? Atmospheric condensers. Efficiency one times two. So once we actually have those, they'll get placed. Alright. Is this... not having enough light oil? Uh, we do have light oil here. But... Oh, there's a power pole in the way. How did you remove the module inserter icon from the machine? Just right-click it, basically. Just like that. And sometimes it's easier to put this back this way. When it's complaining, it needs more modules. <laughs> Indeed. Um, was this one broken? It's not. It was just a power pole in the way over here. Oops. Okay, copy... Auto save and a paste. Uh, there's still a RoboPod in the way. In fact, let's remove that. Try again with the paste. That is looking a bit more promising. And we need a single flare stack for when this eventually fills up. Alright, Decon Ghosts, and we actually do need two more uh, fuel refineries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they're up here. Oh, okay. For the solid rocket fuel. Is that everything? It is. Beautiful. Alright, that should almost definitely be able to keep up uh, with the liquid rocket fuel for our two or more cargo rockets. Probably just two. I don't think I'm going to send back barrels of petroleum like I did last time. Though we're not ruling that out. We've got the everything we need to set it up here if I do decide to do that remotely. And I th think we're almost done on this planet. Oh, I need to go around making raw imicite mines, though. And pulverizers. Um, if I want to greatly improve the, the stack density of the stuff that we're sending back. 
Okay, let's have a look at Hagen. I see bots moving. I see packing of cargo rocket sections. This is very good. I see no more trains queued up over here. So 24k. We've got like 280k iron plate in this block now. It's going to be a while before it requests some more. Um, but that's okay. I'll wait till... You know what? I won't wait. I'm just going to read from these as well. Uh, and I'm going to turn that back on. And we shouldn't get any... Uh, we shouldn't get any extra trains scheduled over here. I do want to add those extra storage. Just for the hell of it. Alright, so cargo rocket sections though. Um, where are the rest of these going? Let's see. Packed cargo rocket section. Oh, they're in a train. Oh, oh. It has to refresh it, but it does find it in the cargo wagon, which is in motion right now. That's cute. Hey, it's arriving right now. Which means our rocket to resupply our new outpost. Uh, probably just got enough cargo rocket sections, maybe. Uh, in order to get ready to launch. Fantastic. Well, I guess there's no real need to go looking around anymore. We know that probably the next train load of these, which isn't far off, is going to get it ready to launch. Red circuits seem to be doing fine. And... I guess I have to go set up some mines for raw imasite. Uh... If I'm going to process the raw emesite here at least one step, which I really should, because um, the stack comparison... Uh, where is it? Raw emesite. Wait, was I looking at Holmanite when I was trying to figure this out? I think I was. Okay, what about Immersite? Um, Immersite... Crushed Immersite... Raw Immersite stack size 50. Crushed is... 100 and Sand is 200. 6 becomes 6. So that is a lot better. Um, I would still have to set up two cargo rockets if I don't want to waste any... Uh, if I don't want to waste a whole lot. Well, not a whole lot. It's a small amount. It could be as much as almost two stacks that would get wasted by the auto launch um, if I don't add some logic to it. If I send both crushed Immersite and sand back on the one cargo rocket. Maybe I should just do that, though. Crushed Immersite and sand in the cargo rocket. Stack size for crushed emesite is double and for sand is quadruple. Six becomes six without prod modules. I'll have to do a specialized um, landing pad or I could just well I don't have I, I don't have the room here to like add filters to make this one different. 
I would have to do a specialized landing pad if I do that. I don't particularly want to do that. I also need to add more landing pads already, whether I like it or not. Um, where is the landing pad blueprint? I did make a blueprint for this, right? Don't the loaders filter? They do, but the bulk rail loaders do not. So I would have to have another station. Which I could probably maybe just squeeze in here. If I have the train, construction train come over here. And we add a station something like this. And have a different filter coming off of this. I could do it that way. What is this? Oh, that's going the other way. Right, obviously. Of course. I'd have to move this uh, substation. Could I do that right now? And that would still... This one's not even necessary. As a matter of fact. Yeah, it was just the symmetry. That one isn't even needed. So I could do something like this and have another filter off of here. And this goes in here. And like so. I think I will do that. That's surprisingly a surprisingly small amount of work to make the custom loader or custom unloader. Good morning, Yatuwatu. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's that chest in the middle? It's a delivery cannon chest. And the only reason I'm using that here is it's 3x3. Three three. Um, if you have a chest close at the corners to the bulk rail loaders and or unloaders, um, they'll automatically transfer items that way. So... Um, just by putting stuff into this chest, invisible inserters will pick up whatever's in them. Um, but I am going to limit... Actually, no, I'm not. No, I should limit these to 40 stacks. Okay. So we're going to have... What is it? Crushed Emersite? in here and sand in here this will be how did i name these stations yeah that makes sense crushed emersite whoops so it turned out uh, even though I looked at the wrong resource, Holmium, um, could you, could you wait a sec? Thank you. Even though I looked at the wrong resource, Holmium, uh, pretty much the exact same thing applies. It's exactly one processing step in the crusher, and we get one side output that we have to deal with, but the stack density improves massively. And we don't need any fluids or anything. Alright, I think that's pretty much going to do it, actually. Sand goes here. Uh, crush. Emersite goes here. Sand goes here. If there's a crash, I'll probably need to double this. To try and catch it all if there is a crash without the bots 
going crazy. Actually, when I physically come back here, I think I'll change it so that there's just... We don't keep adding construction bots based on need. Um, we're just going to have 50... 50 construction bots, period. Um, and that way we'll only need the one storage chest for specific items when there's a crash. Uh, and they won't put the excess, they won't be fast enough to put the excess into this uh, unfiltered storage chest. So yeah, I think that'll do. And now we know that we could fit, um, probably. Yeah, we could even do it here. Uh, we could definitely fit double, double unloads from cargo rockets four times in this block if we want. Nice. Uh, and this here should be blacklist. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I don't know how I'm going to do this part. So normally we blacklist whatever is the main resource, it, it, it is the resource that we want from the cargo landing pad. Everything else... I guess I could just do filter whitelist... Uh, cargo rocket sections and space capsule. That actually works fine. Yeah, that should do it. Cool, cool, cool. So this is going to be... Uh, Rushed, Immersite, and Sand. Seems good. And that's what this one's going to be aimed at. Hagen, Crushed, Immersite, plus Sand. Um, and we're just gonna request... Yeah, 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 I put the wrong thing here earlier. Crushed Immersite. What's the stack size? 50. No, it's 100. What am I doing? Calculator Immersite. 100 times 80. 8,000. 16k. And 32k for sand. And whichever it fills up with, we're gonna send it. Um, I could... Well, I can't really make the crushed emesite a higher priority because... The sand is gonna block it off eventually doesn't really work. Alright, so now we need to do... I was going to do it on the spot, but that makes no sense. Um... I'll do a little station here for... It's actually not powered. Um, for dropping off... site and we'll process it, pulverize it, rather. doop a doop and solar panels, nice. Uh, we could probably knock off flat solar panels while we're at it. 
But do we have enough energy science saved up? We kind of do. We've got 458 energy science packs. Is there anything else that I want to use this precious, early, slow energy science one on? Um, where's the energy science pack one? Let's see. We could get the better radiators. That's also 500. Hypercooling 3 is the version that uses cryonite. Considering we have infinite cryonite, I should probably do that relatively soon. But it's it's fairly cheap. Immersite weapons. Is that the railgun? Or is it different? Oh, we need material one for that. Uh, we different simulations. These are all just prereqs. I'm going to do it. We're getting... Oh, I should definitely do... Oh, that's so expensive. No wonder I haven't done it yet. Mining productivity 5. Let's knock this out first. Which one was I excited about? Uh, I'm actually blanking on it. Yeah, yeah, flat solar panel. We need energy 2 for the next tier. But I'd definitely like to skip a tier of, flat, of solar panels before we go... Are these 3x3 three three, though? Solar panel. No, they're 4x4, four four, so there's absolutely no advantage to these if we have the technology for the, the higher tier. Cool. Yeah, I'd definitely like to skip those ones. Let's get flat solar panel out of the way. And then I think I'll go for mining productivity. Okay. We need another LTN stop, and I'll probably just do like a quarter here. Then again, well, let's see how fast it would be. Brushed inner sight, right calc, four raw inner sight per second. Doesn't every single drill give us seven per second? I think we've already consumed all of the imacite, though. That's one of the reasons we're bothering with doing that on this planet. There's not a whole lot on Hagen. Yeah, I can't find a single one that... Um, that we've made that isn't empty. But I think it was 7 per second each. So, having just a handful of these machines is not going to be so good. I might go to the trouble of putting... Uh, putting our output station all the way down here. I think I've heard your name somewhere before. Have you played TF2 before? Um, actually, yes. Quite a long time ago. This is going to be a bulk rail loader. And... Uh, we're looking for... Raw Innocent, wasn't it? Oh, 
from TF2? Not a whole lot. Okay. Lighted substation. Actually, how fast? It's going to be pretty slow, isn't it? Um, let's make a few more pulverizers, though. And see how we fit those together. There's a rock in the way. Normally I'd jump into the editor, but we're obviously pretty much going to wing it this time. Crushed in a sight. How fast is this? 10, 20 in, 20 out. It's pretty slow, actually. Um, I would theoretically like to leave room for a wide area beacon. So I'll just put this here. Then again, by the time we have wide area beacons, we're going to be probably done with the Immersite on this planet, to be honest. In which case, how about just a blue belt down the middle? Oops. And some stackies. And a substation or two. Still handcrafting those. Um... Two per second per resource. I think a stack inserter shouldn't have any trouble keeping up with that. Uh, total of 20 per second, so half a belt should be okay, but... On the other hand... Uh, why don't we just filter inserter... Crushed Immersite and sand. And the sand can go on one side of the belt. And then we'll do a filter splitter. And a couple of stations for pickup. Can I fit this here? I might have to... I could I could do another station like this. If this one's not going to be a neat fit. I think that's going to mess up the signals. Yeah, it does. Alright. In that case... Uh, let's see. Two, three, four, five. That's in the wrong spot. And up here. A uh, glue drinker and seventh for Nevo. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need some signals like so. Uh, we're also going to need another train stop. And. Uh, Zinder, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Let's do just the old delivery cannon chest trick. Make the inputs nice and simple. Okay, so we're going to do 
Uh, crushed emosite on this station and sand in this station. Yay indeed. And I think we're using opposite uh, sides of the belt on each side, which will probably not make a difference actually now that I think of it, because we're only doing 20 per second per resource. Um, so there should be more room on the belt regardless. Uh, I think it's kind of neat anyway. Alright, so we need some circuit wire to tell LTN what we've got. We'll need some settings for LTN. Provide stack threshold 80. Um, long trains only, I think. And just for my own sake, give the stations a name. Alright, so crush democide, send, pick up, uh, and raw democide drop off up here. Is there not a combinator on the way? Guess not. Am I out of combinators? I'm out of combinators. Okay. Didn't expect that. Alright, so we are requesting raw emisite. Uh, stack size 50, so a couple of train loads. Isn't that like four train loads actually? Oops, that's not the calculator. 8,000 over 50 is 160 stacks, which is two trains. So, yes. Alright, raw MSI requester. And now we just need to actually hook up some mines. The biggest mine I can find that's fairly close by is down here. So let's head that way. Um, let me make a version of this that doesn't include the um, wind turbines. There we go. Oops. Um, and over here, I think. Close enough. We don't actually need a roundabout here. Well, maybe we will later on. So, same thing. I want to create, copy, and get rid of the wind turbines. That's been bugging me. And then... Uh, put that there. And let's jump in our construction train. Make it a bit easier. We want to head down this way. Apparently it's already built a little bit. Sand is everywhere. Do you need to export it at all now that you've split it off from the crushed emisite? I mean, it's either that or destroy it. And we did have, I don't want to say did, we may have still uh, some issues with stone and or sand. 
back on Hagen. If not, maybe I'll stop exporting it and start crushing it. If we don't want to pay cargo rocket sections and fuel for it. We'll see. Can we turn sand into landfill? I think we can. Sand plus water. Or 200 sand. I could send it back as landfill. That would be a bit more productive and also extremely stack dense. I like to turn spare sand into glass. Yes. That is another option, definitely. Okay. Probably shouldn't have gone this far yet. Let's turn to the right. And start getting this mine ready. The first of way too many. Uh, and we might end up going over there, so do a little pickup station like this, I guess. What, how about here? It's probably going to be easier. Some chain signals. Uh, over here as well, I guess. And regular signal going out. Actually, could I put that there? I like to turn spare sand... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Zayden, good to see you again. Welcome, Melty. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. I need some... Standard pickup. I need a constant combinator. And I thought I had lots of quarry drills. I must have put them away. Yeah, we've got 88. That is quite a lot. Um, but while I'm here, I can at least lay out the way the belts are going to be. I was going to say what's our rate, but I'm pretty sure it is 21.42. If we use both sides of the belt. Uh, so that's the right side. Could we get these ones to all use the left side? And into the delivery cabin chest with you. Alright, so raw emisite provider. And we'll need some power. a pretty good fit. And we'll need power going all the way back as well. Wake up a few minutes ago. I can't say right now how I am. Fair enough. Are these all equidistant? Not quite. 
Uh, where's my my way blueprint? There we go. Okay. So if we head down this way, our train should be able to go back. There's an icon you click to show item icons in the search bar. What do you mean here? This thing. Was someone asking how to do that? You can search items for the station icons. Uh, yes? Question mark? Immersite. It actually, if you search text for Immersite, it does show the Immersite icons. Uh, this thing's saying no path. Oh, did it not go far enough? It didn't go far enough. Wait, um, does this... One, two, three... That's actually not good enough with the signaling. So, something like this instead. Never knew that's much easier, indeed. Alright, I'm gonna need some... Immersite mines. They are located here. And we may as well let the train get reloaded. Added it a few versions ago, and it's really great, yes. Never stop improving. How much power do we have? Uh, well, it looks like our accumulators are never getting completely full. But as long as we're not actually... As long as we're not actually having problems, we can live with that. If the accumulators aren't getting full, it does mean we're walking kind of a narrow tightrope. Uh, it looks like we're still... We're still mining at night. Maybe I should... Maybe I should make it so that Accumulator charge has to be greater than 80 or something. Or... Uh, for the coal mining. And we'll tweak that a bit later, I think. Alright, let's go back down here. And place our Immersite mines. Not yet tier 2 solar panels. Um, we're actually researching tier 3 solar panels, the flat solar panels. But no, we don't physically have those Immersite solar panels. But we'll be able to skip right over them for the next outpost. Uh, apparently we're not... Oh, there we go. All right, there's our Immer site, and it is, in fact, seven per second per drill. So we're going through 42 per second out of 1.7 mil. That's going to last this many seconds, this many minutes, 11.24 hours. That's not too bad, I guess. That's assuming that we pick it all up as quickly as possible. How many, uh... I made two trains with double cargo wagons. That should be enough for this planet, probably. But I'd be happier with three. Uh, give me some more multi-cylinders and steel plate. There we go.
What's the power gain when you upgrade the T1 to T3? Uh, let's see. It is... What am I doing? Control E. Uh, so regular solar panel, advanced solar panel, flat solar panel. The, the size being exactly the same is one reason that I'm going to skip over these. Also, the fact that we're able to research these right now. Um, but 50 kilowatts, 125 kilowatts, 200 kilowatts. And then 400, I think this is 800. I think it keeps doubling. Yeah. So flat solar panel one is double regular solar panel. And this is double that, double that. This is actually uh, two and a half times the regular solar panel. It's a pretty big difference. Okay, a little while I can place another train. I'll wait till we have at least one part of it, otherwise another train could theoretically park here. How's our no path? Oh, did we not replace those signals? We did replace those signals. So how are you no pathing? It's not able to... It's not able to path at all. Oh, I think it's still on the curve. Oh no. Um, I need to move the entire thing down a couple of tiles. Okay, it's going to take a few minutes, literally, for the rest of this handcrafting, so let's head over there. For me, it's an even bigger boost from 60 to 300 for the first flat ones. Nice. Um, let's, let's block all that off. I don't want any more going in. Oh, we're already here. Um, I might just, uh-oh. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna try and make this train go away manually, but I don't think... Yeah, I literally can't go left here. Hmm. Let's turn this train off for a sec. Move this one up here. And get it to leave. Fantastic. Um, switch this off. Not that there are any more trains to be scheduled yet. I could actually just do it like this. That might not be the worst idea. That's totally valid. I wouldn't have designed it this way deliberately, but that does actually fix the problem. Yujinha, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's uh, manual pilot this thing back because it's not going to want to go the wrong way signal-wise. And there we go. Cool. That's how many IRL sidings do it, indeed. It's pretty clean. Alright. I kind of feel like putting off making any more Immersite mines, to be honest. Uh, I'll make one more before we go, at least. So that'll bump it up to, like, 
12 hours worth of emesite. Well, it's not 12 hours, it all depends on where our bottlenecks are. Speaking of which, um, let's have a look. Hey, rocket's ready. Alright. So is this thing... it's not hooked up yet. Uh, trigger, launch trigger manual. I need to copy the logic that I've got flipped over over here. We're not even requesting because we don't have a connection. So this goes here. And then that goes nowhere. Goes to this one. I'm pretty sure that's it. So we're loading up um, everything that Everything that we're trying to send to... What's the planet called again? Hagen Orbit? That's not right. Gibby. Gibbil, I think. Gibbil... Gibbil Mall. There we go. Isn't it just going to feed it iron? Wait, how much iron do we have here? 27k. Alright, it's definitely not going to fill the whole thing up with iron. On the first go, at least. So that should be okay. Uh, and I already did set the... If it's completely full, you can launch condition. Launch on green signal when fuel full. Launch if full and launch if... what's this? If everything equals zero. So if we're not trying to put anything else into the rocket, which is on this wire, Uh, if we're no longer trying to add things to the rocket, and we've got 101 space capsules, including this one, then don't wait for other resources to be requested. Send the space capsules. That seems fine. Um, and I'll just double check... We are asking for exactly 100 space capsules here. So in other words, if there's zero space capsules on this planet, and we're not trying to fill up the rocket with anything else, um, just send the damn rocket with the space capsules. Otherwise, we're never going to be requesting more stuff because we're not consuming the cargo rocket sections and such. What process requires Immersite? Quite a bit. Um, Immersite itself only goes into... Oh wait, where's raw Immersite? Uh, here we go. No? I'm so confused. Raw Immersite um, only goes into... A few things, actually. Oh, this is how you make it. Uh, crushed emosite, landfill, matter liberation data. Or rather, it can be used to make particle stream. I don't think I'd ever do it that way. Ten raw emosite plus one percent of a matter liberation data makes five particle stream. Uh, or you can turn it into matter. But more to the point, crushed emosite becomes immersium sulfide, becomes fine emosite powder and emosite crystal. Uh, fine emosite powder goes into immersium plate. Also a few other things. Immersium beam, gear wheel, 
Let's have a look at the plate. Beam gear wheel. Uh, optimization research data. That's necessary to span. Antimatter artillery shell. Fascinating. Oh, antimatter plus immersion plate is needed. Uh, portable Singularity Reactor, Antimatter Rocket, Singularity Fuel Cell, Impulse Rifle. I guess it's basically just like a better SMG. Or maybe it's a bit slower. No, it's probably slower. It's got a lot of range. If you get the chance, try out Recipe Book, which is nicer and easier to use. I do have Recipe Book. It's better in some ways, but for quickly looking at certain things, um, I do still find FNEI to be good. Um, but we can... Apparently we can't search Emma. There we go. Uh, so this is all the things that... Immersite weapons, that's a whole thing. Yeah, FNEI is nice for looking at one or two things at a time. Beam goes into Substation Mark II, Advanced Chemical Plant, Advanced Research Server, Matter Plant. There's a whole lot. Okay, um, I think when I go back, I'll just shove in some Efficiency 1 modules into this rocket for the next time it launches. Sorry for being noisy? Not at all. Not even a little bit. Uh, I should probably set up... Oh, how's our power? Okay, so now we're getting a bit of full accumulated charge near the end of the day. Mwahahaha, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, does this mean we could run another coal mining drill, or would that... Uh, Baker Storage, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Much appreciated. And the million others as well. Thank you so much. And good to see you again. Gold Laptop, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, it's actually a very difficult calculation... Because of the diminishing returns for core mining drills, and the fact that even if they're inactive, that the others have that diminishing return. Um, it's hard to know, with how much power we've got, how many drills I should actually place. Started playing K2SE again recently, nice. I like most of the 0.6 updates. I, I have a complicated relationship with the updates. Uh, there's a lot of nice stuff, and there's a lot of why are you putting such basic quality of life things behind three planets of um, exploration? But overall, quite liking. I'm also doing K2, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of changes compared to the last playthrough. A lot of fun toys to look forward to. The space elevator doesn't look like it does what I originally was hoping. Uh, what were you hoping it would do? I kind of imagined the, um... There'd be, like, a whole surface... I guess there's no point to it, um... But I kind of imagined a whole surface to... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? That would be between the planet and the orbit. that the trains would have to go through or something. I was hoping to use one per moon to send the bulk resources up and then use spaceships to transport it while in space. Uh, can you not do that? 
I mean, you'd have to do the logistics for... What are they called? The, um... Like the space elevator cable. Here it is. Yeah, literally just space elevator cable. You'd have to supply those. Stack size is only 20, but I don't think it consumes them very fast, does it? Or you could supply the stuff to make them at a much better stack density. At least with my playstyle, I haven't got up to the elevator yet. Fair enough. Doopa doop, we've got the flat solar panel researched. Uh, mining productivity 5 is going to take its sweet time. Um, you know what? I've got everything we need here. We don't have spider drones, but I do have a construction train that I can configure at will. Um, it, it could be a little bit tedious, but I can remotely set it up so that we can build out and make more mines. The only lingering question I have... We've got three. Um, actually, let's check if all the coal mining drills are active. One, they should all be active at the same time. And our accumulator charge is actually full. Okay, cool. It's actually full for like half the day. All right. I think we should definitely put in one more drill before we go. And I'm thinking I could be very lazy and just extend this rail up. Um, we're, we're totally saturated on core fragments here. We're just waiting on... What are they called? Oh, not even waiting on the cargo rocket sections. We're actually waiting on this incredibly slow one-stack inserter. For the initial delivery of resources. Um, I think it's going to put steel in next as well. Maybe... Maybe I should change this design. I mean, it's fine once it gets going, but right now... The main thing that we need... I might just do this as a one-off. Oh, right. Bring the construction train over. Inactivity... one minute. Uh, what we need right now... is packed cargo rocket sections in this thing. It's also going to help fill the rocket much more quickly. So we're sending a little bit of media defense ammo, because we've already got plenty, I guess. Wait, let's check what we're asking for. Um, it's actually looking for 9.9k. Hmm. Yeah, the inserter only picking up this stack simultaneously is a bit of a problem. I should either signal separate or... Or just don't bother, because we know that once it's caught up, it's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to fill it with cargo rocket sections. If I can. I can't. That's it. That's the end of the cargo rocket sections. Except for the ones in here. It would be picking up iron plate first anyway if I gave that the filter to anything filter. I definitely want to make sure it sends more space capsules first. Hmm. How much iron plate do we have here? 25k. Why don't I just ask for way less iron plate for the moment? Since we've got the mine to supply it for the moment. 
We're just going to get that iron plate out of there and send everything else. Which, now that I think of it, is literally just cargo rocket section, space capsules, and ammo. I need a signal separator and calculator for what I think I want to use. A calculator. As in, with combinators? Oh. I may have made a few more pipe to ground than was strict, uh, strictly necessary. It's fine. What's not fine is the burst rate of this loading and unloading system. <laughs> Alright, it's finally loading things other than iron plate. I can live with that. Oh, and we can get rid of this too. Uh, let's bring our train back here for just a few seconds. Fantastic. For some recipes that has a higher stack size in the ingredients. Ah, yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. And... Where's our nearest... I think I'll do one more coal mining drill over here. That's going to be pretty much perfect, I think. Highway, go this way. Oh, I went past it. And... Let's take the train. I hope this is big enough to catch all the missed cargo rocket sections. Or rather, the, uh, the crashed cargo rocket bits. we go. Oh, my robot pot's not active. Whoops. Which quality of life things are behind more text now? Uh, the worst one, in my opinion, was requester chests, active provider chests, and buffer chests. Um, we had to go to a cryonite planet just to make that happen. And I don't think it's a very compelling quote-unquote challenge to do everything with belts. Logistics being in space is a bit rough, yes. It does make it more satisfying than you reach it, I guess. Um, let's do the drill here, and I'll probably put uh, the pickup station like this, and then need another one of these. And... I need to see exactly where it is. We can probably put this up this way. Uh, should be fine? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Delivery cannon chest. Express loadout. Belt and accumulator. And then connect to LTN input. Uh, 
Core, Fragment, Iridium, or oh, Iridite, Substation, and Power Pole. And I think we changed it to something like Accumulator Charge greater than 80. So once that is charged, away we go. Now, can I get this thing... Probably not. Can I get it to not pick up the core fragments? Do you have the problem of the system not seeming to deliver enough rocket parts when you are trying to reuse the parts from the tech? Uh, I'm not sure if I understand the question. If we're short on cargo rocket sections, it's because we've messed up our supply chains a bit. Uh, let me just put this in here. Or I could have put it in there, actually. Either way is fine. Core, right, there we go. Do you have the problem of the system not seeming to deliver enough rocket parts when you're trying to reuse? That tech that goes up 20 times, it gives you back rocket sections. Yeah, it just basically mitigates the cost of cargo rockets. Um, as long as you set priorities properly and everything. You should get the parts back when you land successfully, yes. Um, which actually just adds to the logistic challenge slash pain of using cargo rockets. But the, the tech level of that doesn't really change that particular challenge. They do go into the landing pad, indeed. Mine is not giving me enough back, even though the math should be there. Um, I don't know. I just treat it as if every rocket is going to cost 100 cargo rocket sections, and the discount that you get from that is a bonus. Okay, bots are still moving here. That's a lot of ammo, that's a lot of cargo rocket sections, uh, that's a lot of space capsules. Our resupply rocket will be launching fairly soon. Uh, launch on green signal when cargo full. Target is Kibil Mall. And we've got all of that logic here. Fantastic. Let me just put this somewhere a bit more symmetrical compared to what we did before. That should be fine. And once we do get those cargo rocket sections, I'm probably going to ride the rocket back. So I'll leave behind all of this stuff uh, just in case we need it later. And what's this? Construction bot is confused. Is it my construction bot? No? What is it doing? Uh, anyway. Anything that I can... Oh, here we are! Uh, I was going to say anything I can easily replace. Uh, these are still set to manual, so we don't have to rush. Oh, and we need something to break down the uh, packed cargo rocket sections as well. Let's do an assembly machine right about here. Requester. Provider. Don't have a provider, really. There might be one lying around somewhere. 
There it is. Um, and we're just gonna go unpack cargo rocket sections and just limit that to one over there. Dinho NB, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we'll soon have a pair of rockets ready to go. And I'll set those... Oh, we're still not... Wait, why don't we have any crushed... Because I missed a single loader. Also, I should probably tell LTN what we've got here. I'm surprised it didn't get overloaded, actually. Probably because I disabled this temporarily, and now I remembered. So it should have a train on its way in just a second. Unless there's something wrong with our trains. Oh, this is actually full enough. That's why. I was also going to place another LCCL train before we go. Fantastic. And, oh, I see why these bots are confused. They belong to the, to the train. And it got too full. I might just turn this off until we actually need the train. So we're just going to empty it. Um, and that way, if the bots do pick anything up, they're going to have plenty of room. Um, and it's easy to sort out later. Nice. Okay. Anything that I can easily replace back at home is going to stay here. Unless it's, um, come back here or something. I guess I should try clearing out the rest of the worms. Um, I was going to do that off stream, but with any luck, there's only a few remaining. Also, I'm going to give my remaining roboports to this train, except for... Well, except for none, actually. Let's go double laser, quadruple jetpack, double shield. And there's uh, like six worms that we know of. One of our rockets is ready to launch. Mining productivity is all the way up to 2%. Amazing. Um, Dark Rail, if I didn't say so, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, apart from the cargo rocket section problem. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Walk of shame. Uh... We can't use coal for the jetpack. And I threw away everything. I, I, I feel, threw away the fuel processor. And I don't have enough iron to handcraft one. Oh, no. Ragamuffin? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, But yeah, let's get rid of... Nope. Any kind of materials. Overconfidence, confidence is a slow, slow and insidious, silious killer, killer. Indeed. Uh. Back we go. 
with nothing but walking available to us. Because I haven't made those exoskeleton legs yet. Walk, walk indeed. Marauder, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Is my... No. Oh, I just can't control click that. I could call a taxi up to here. Wait until passenger present. What the? No. God damn it. Davy NLD, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. Where's our train? It's coming. And away we go. Okay, this time let's take some fuel. In fact, where is our fuel? I made a bunch of processed fuel. It's over here. And rocket fuel. We actually don't have any? Really? Huh. Okay. Wait. Don't tell me we only have five processed fuel. I guess I gave it all to the trains. Uh, does solid fuel work for jetpacks? Actually, disregard that. Oh, I've got two fuel processors here. Uh, processor... One and a two. Uh, if we have a passive provider and a requester, put those down. And some inserters. Solid fuel can go here. And I'm going to go get some. That's not as much as I was expecting. Uh... Probably because it's still saturating the train fuel system. Okay. There's a bit more processed fuel. SF Hobbit, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Comfortably lost. Good to see you again. How was your stream today? Factorio seems good. Dardano, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, I don't really want to go anywhere with only one stack of fuel if we're going to the other end of the planet. Or the yeah, it is actually the other end of the planet. So let's wait for one more stack. I should definitely take one of the fuel processors with me as well. So we can uh, turn coal into fuel. But yeah. Um... We got our first delivery over here. It's not even trying to load any more stuff until we get much lower on some resource or another. Fantastic. All right, that's a couple of stacks. Let's take the fuel processor with us. And up we go. Um, almost straight north. There's 
There's the first one. We've got our lasers equipped, right? And then... I really wish Factory Search found these things. That would be very convenient. Weren't there a couple? Oh, they're down to the right. I think I'll hit this one first, and then it's pretty much straight south from there. And I'm hoping, but I really have my doubts, that this will be the absolute last of the difficult-to-find worms on this planet. But hey, we're shipping Iridite back to Hagen, so we could just get a pile driver to find them. Do we have the weapon delivery system? Uh, we need material science one, which needs erudite. That's not that far off. Ow. And then straight south. Still cleaning up the planet. Um, I actually stopped cleaning up the planet for this whole stream. And we've just been building. Uh, and now I'm just trying to clean up possibly the last few before we go. Con B, Zatius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you end up getting a mod to find the last few enemies? Uh, no. I didn't get around to looking for it. Oh, I went past that one. And who thinks that that's the last one? Gibbil... Confirm hostile extinction. There are still hostiles. Okay. Are there any more that I marked on the map? I don't think so. Yeah. I think, uh... I mean, it's not that big of a... It's not that big of a planet... And we know we've got all of the spawners because we checked for biter expansion candidates. Um, and we're not far off getting Iridium pile drivers. Not particularly far off. So I think uh, it, our save file, it doesn't take too long to auto save yet. So we'll just leave this fully explored. Um, and get the Iridium pile drivers to clean it up. Once you have energy beams, you can glaive them, yeah. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but apparently, um, Iridium pile drivers got a massive buff in terms of the material cost. And the nukes that you send via weapon delivery system got a massive nerf of the same type. But that's fine by me. I'll just use the pile drivers. Are there any bases or just worms? It's just worms because we used the um, uh, what? Where is it? Expansion. Show enemy expansion candidate chunks. It's actually set. It's actually set on always. I don't even have to bring up the debug. So, we can't see any of those green and red circles that show where the biters might expand to. Um, if expansion's turned on, that is. And we did see them before, so we know we've gotten rid of the bases. They also buff glaives. The beam will jump now. Oh yeah, I think I saw that. Very, very strong. Okay, back we go. And there's actually quite a bit of fuel now. Um, I guess we can stop with that. Um, 
happened? Are these not ready to go? Oh, wait, what? Oh, we don't have any crushed emocytes still. Why not? We're making the crushed emocyte. We just don't quite have one train load yet. Okay. It would probably help if three-fifths of these machines were actually active. Might help a little bit. Come back with that emocyte. Don't put it in the train. That actually looks pretty neat. I kind of like that. Cool. So our first train load of crushed emocyte from this planet is about to be delivered. The sand actually comes out at half the speed because of the stack size difference. And we're looking for emocyte and sand here. Once it's full, it's going to launch. Launch on cargo full. Go to Hagen. Comfortably lost. Thank you for the follow. And uh, Midden. Good to see you again, by the way. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, for some reason, I was gearing up as if I need to minimize um, the amount of stuff I'm carrying. Oh, we haven't placed our umbrella. Not that that would have been a problem as long as we noticed uh, the CME coming. There's our emissite. Okay, uh, yeah, I was gearing up as if I was going to use um, a space capsule to go home. But we don't actually have to completely empty our inventory. That said, um, I don't really see the need to take anything back with me that we can easily replace. Um, that might be useful for the builds over here. I could give this thing some batteries. Energy capacity 30 megajoules, internal buffer recharge 5. Sure, why not? And that actually fits perfectly. Okay, I think we're ready to go back home. Not leaving any other power armor gear behind. Or anything. Let's go... Uh, what's our destination? Hagen? Wait a sec. Wait, wait, wait a second. We might need a destination. Uh, we might need a landing pad back at Hagen. Alright, let's grab our... cargo landing pads. Build some over here. Bring the construction train. And inactivity. And we might want to add a drop-off specifically for uh, erudite core fragments. I should probably add some tags here as well. Uh, so this is going to be here. Vulcanite core fragments are here. This one is coal. This is petroleum barrels. And here we have sand and 
crushed emesite. Okay. Currently, they also reduce Vita requirements in T3 and 4 science by a ton. I'm not there yet. Uh, I couldn't comment on that one. Alright, this is going to be... Do not even momentarily name it the same as the Vulcanite core fragment. Because a rocket will appear instantly. Is it called Iridium or Iridite? Iridite. Harry Seawood, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, erudite core fragment, launch trigger, launch on cargo full, and away we go. Because version 0.6.87. Back in SEK2, got holmium and cryo stuff going, working to iridium. Nice. Okay, uh, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. I forgot to set the filters here. Um, erudite core fragment goes in this storage chest. Uh, it should actually go back into here. And it should definitely not go here. Oh, that's fine. That, that's actually okay. I'm going to have a walk of shame, but sort that out. Uh, we want everything but Iridite Core Fragment onto this belt. And let's get a taxi. Oh, the taxi. I forgot the taxi literally just came. Uh, over here, please. Wait for passenger present, and then go over here, wait for passenger not present. But yeah, I want to redesign this block slightly. But first, we go get some rocket fuel and so on. Along with a few more cargo landing pads, I guess. Cargo landing pad. Fantastic. Whoa, don't run me over. Okay. I want three. And I want... Uh, I guess we can leave the power armor like that. Let's get some... Personal Roboports. And maybe a couple more jetpacks, actually. Good. Good fly back there. I guess I will. Taxi's a bit busy for the moment. 5% on mining prod fi. Nice. Okay, so what I want to do... Oh. 
there shouldn't actually be... a train delivering to here. Because it's all the one... robot network. And I wanted to... I wanted to get it down to 50 construction bots. Let me turn this one off, actually. Until I pick them all up. We've got a thousand construction bots in this block? Yeah, no. It's only for the when the rocket crashes. And I don't want them to have so much throughput. That... Um, that they place items in the non-filtered uh, storage chests when they do have a filtered storage chest that they belong in. What are we down to? 385? What's this train doing? Oh, that might be a problem. This train is... Uh, has mostly taken the last of the... What? Is this still lo getting loaded? It doesn't look like it is. I think what I probably have to do here... Is just... This is... This is also not where I, I meant to go. I think I got unlucky and didn't get any planets slash moons with both Holmium and Cryonite. Unfortunate. Most unfortunate. Uh, I think probably what I want to try here is greater than one stack in the one that it's coming out of. So that will allow the train to get loaded. Which I thought would happen even if, uh, even if there's like only a flicker of an item in here, but apparently not. Rorosaur, thank you very much. We? Oui? Uh, thank you very much for the six months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Okay. Did we get... No, we need to get these bots out of here. 370 still in this robot network. Um, get out of here. 150. And now we're down to 8. And... And furthermore, plastic. Where are the 8, though? Good question. Uh, if I get them to decon something, I guess we'll find out. They're way down there. And now we know where they are. Okay. Um, I could just put bots back in here, but I want to make sure... Um, that we've actually set this up properly. Don't actually need it over here. But we're looking for 50 construction bots, and it's based on total... Oh, there's bots in here, that's why. Uh, 50 construction bots, and it's based on total construction bots. So, click, and that should go yellow, deliver exactly 50 bots, fantastic, and we straight up don't need 
this station. We only need one for the whole combined set of blocks. We hope. Um, so Iridite is going to go back into this container. And that's pretty much it, actually. And over here, we're not going to need higher throughput or higher storage um, that the bots are able to put in here. Was it the, the one in the counterclockwise direction? Was the original. Cool. That should be pretty neat. Uh, let's have a peek at Gibble with the second rocket. Liquid rocket fuel looks like it's having no trouble keeping up. Um, we're actually half full for the mostly crushed Immersite. And we are full for the Iridite already, which is not surprising now that I think of it. So we need to make a block to process Iridite next. I need some more rail. Uh, I think I'll just steal it from here, so that we've got a functioning roundabout. Cool. Uh, let's go back to the mall and put some of this stuff away. See how everything else is going. I see no movement here. We're missing rocket part. Uh, sorry, rocket control units. Missing rocket control units because we're missing glass. All the more reason to send sand back. Yeah, we're actually out of sand over here, which probably means we're out of stone. Uh oh! I think I see the problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's this problem again. Okay. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have set up that station on the wrong side, on the other side of that uh, uranium. But also, it's this problem again. That's all it took. That's actually all it took to fix it. Indeed. Alright, so there go our stone trains. There goes our uranium. There goes everything working again. How much higher stack density would it be to send back as glass? Because most of our sand is going to get turned into glass, right? But I just don't want to limit our options if we're trying to get rid of the stuff. Canun uh, canuncle, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That reminds me, I do actually need to make this right here an active provider high priority because it's trying to get rid of a byproduct and i guess i'll put the cargo landing pad 
icon as well. Okay. What's next? Oh yeah, I was looking at sand. What it goes into. Concrete, glass, wood. Oh, right. Sand plus water. Landfill. Glass. Pyroflux. A little bit for beryllium ingot. Holmium ingot. Quartz. It actually goes into quite a few things. Uh, but how much better is the stack density if we turn it into glass? Stack size is the same, and it doubles if we ignore the prod bonus. Hmm. Is there a universe where we end up keeping up with glass so well that we shouldn't send the sand as glass? I'm thinking probably not, because it's literally... If we have a glass problem, it's bottlenecked on sand. I mean... Also, stone has been one of the resources that we're actually kind of short on, on Hagen. So maybe on Gibil, or any other planet like this, uh, instead of... We, we could add one more processing step to this and send it as glass. But it would have to be a high priority pickup, which is probably fine. But now I don't know where I want to fit all of this. Um, I've actually got a robot network able to fill this out very easily. And I could do... I could literally just copy-paste our glass build, or at least half of it. Uh, let me just jump this into the editor real quick, because I don't want to copy this part. Back over to Gibil, and we might want to move this just a bit. That's actually still in the way. And we're going to have to get rid of some rail as well. And some rocks. But uh, that should be fine. Um, so then instead of requesting sand here, we're going to request glass. 32k. Whoops. And I'm going to have to deal with the transition from one to the other. Oh, do we not have more furnaces? One, two, three. Wait, how many do we even need? 20 sand per second. We need 5. So this is fine, actually. Dunsky. Okay. 
Okay, could I actually get the sand out of this before we launch? That might make it a bit easier. Uh, stack filter inserter. And send. I don't think we have four active providers, do we? I could borrow these ones. It's actually keeping up. It's going faster than the, the two red belts. That should be fine. Oh, we need another logistic train stop. That might be a little bit of a pain. Train stop. We need lamps is the main problem. Because we'll need glass for that. And stick. And go. Uh, and we need red wire and green wire. Why don't you just belt the sand over? Uh, I guess I could do that, yeah. That's, that's actually a pretty good idea. In fact, turn off this station. And... Empty these. I can't actually use... Uh, what's the word? I can't... I don't think I can use even distribution from here, but if I could... Yeah, no. Oh, wait. Oh! Okay. <laughs> That's one way to do it. That is one way to do it. And then I could just put a requester for sand up here. Boneless Ice, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, belt up this way, over here, and I guess we could just do it like this. Oh wait, we can do it this way as well. So if I just get the bots to pick all this up... Sand explosion. Wait, was it automatically picking those up and putting them on the ground? Interesting. I wonder if I could exploit that to get around the bot interference wind by having construction bots move things around. So... These were all red, but the inserters, the invisible inserters from the bulk rail loaders were still taking from this. And I guess tossing it on the ground, maybe? Gonna head off, have fun, and thanks for the stream. Uh, thanks again for dropping by, Baker. And for the subs as well, very much appreciated. Exploiter, indeed. Papa Beast, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Are you shipping in raw imasite by rocket slash cargo capsule? Yes. Well, not raw. I'm I'm breaking it down to crushed because it's got a much better stack size and it's only one uh, processing step. 
Um, but then I decided while we're at it, we could turn the sand to glass because that doubles the stack density as well. Um, and that's only one more processing step. We do need another green stop, but luckily we have one right here. Let's get the straight rail remover. It's actually quite tricky, this one. That's actually very tricky, this one. There we go. Uh, there's our request chest for sand. And we'll eventually get all of that uh, dumped out. Although I did actually end up making it exact ratio. So technically the sand in the robot network could take ages to be gotten rid of. Unless we do this. Seems a good. Do we not have one more? Was that actually the last one? Do we have red ones? Loader. We have plenty of loaders. There we go. Fantastic. Turning the sand into glass is a pretty good idea. I may steal that, indeed. I, 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 I've said it before, but I do want to keep my outposts as simple as possible. Um, but if we're mining raw imasite, uh, this is this is definitely worth it. And we've almost got all of our sand out of uh, out of the ship of the cargo rocket. Alright, cool. Let's change this from sand to glass. Uh, and it still needs a, to be a high priority pickup. But I'm sure... Like, I, I would be very surprised uh, if A, we're ever not consuming glass that much, uh, and B... Uh, what was B? There is no B? Uh, if we're ever not consuming glass that much, that priority pickup for glass doesn't get removed, uh, I'd be very, very surprised. I can't remember what the other thing I was going to say was. Oh, well, that's brain damage for you. So next we need to do irid uh, Iridium Core Fragment Processing. Request 10k sand? What do you mean? Oh, for the, um, for the train stop? I think I changed it to glass. Yeah, I did change the station name while we're at it. Cool, cool, cool. Or did you mean this one? Oh, right. Yeah, there's not that much sand left. Well, I lie, there's 35k. But... This is going to be saturated for the foreseeable future, regardless. I guess I could add some more furnaces so that we work through the backlog, but... I don't think I care, to be honest. Also, we will run out of the Immersite at some point. Tyroglyphics? Tyroglyphics? What is Tyroglyphics? It just comes up with hieroglyphics. Okay. Your train stop names. Oh, yes. I I quite like that. Yes. Tyroglyphics. Thank you. It's actually very cool. 
we're actually eight, uh, sorry, 80%, uh, four fifths full for our crushed Imosite cargo rocket. Nice. All right, so for today, I guess the last thing we do is make a start on uh, Iridium Core Fragment Processing. Do we need Sulfuric Acid for this? I bet we do. I think I remember that. Uh, I also might want to steal from myself for the layout with the other Core Fragment Processing blocks. But what I want to learn right now... It does want Sulfuric Acid. And then the, after that it's pretty standard. So we could probably take... Well, it's not going to be like Crynite Core Fragment Processing, is it? We've got regular Core Fragment... I thought we had a Blueprint Crynite Core Fragment Processing. Is this the wrong blueprint book? LCCL train blocks. Uh, basic blocks? Yeah, here we go. Core fragment, basic. Oh, it's CF. Okay. And it doesn't find core based on the icon. Yeah, so we did find room for beacons for this one of both types. And Vulcanite looks a bit like this. So, oh, it even included the cheat input for testing. Whoops. Um, if this were to be Iridium Core Fragment, would we ever take the second step while we're here? Crushed Iridite? Just like we did with Cryonite. Crushed Cryonite. Uh, sorry, Cryonite powder and sand. Crushed Iridite gives us 40% Iridite. Uh, crushed Iridite and sand. So we're going to have to do a recycle thing here. What's the rate like? Very positive on Iridite. Yeah, I think we're going to have separate blocks this time. So maybe just all of it. The Iridite Core Fragments. That only gives us 19 Iridite. 2 Core Fragments, 1.4 uh, Core Fragments, 1.2 Sand. I think it's going to be as simple as that for this one. And it shouldn't, question mark, be difficult to find room for... Fluid inputs. Might need a bit of a tweak or two. Um, what if... Well, we're definitely not doing that. But... Yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. It's basically just like it used to be, but add sulfuric acid. Although it only goes in from one side. I don't think that's going to be a problem though. What's the benefit of using core fragment processing instead of just the material? Uh, core fragments are infinite. So you don't have to stress that it's running out or keep making new mines. Or even if you do make mines, it will mitigate the finiteness of those mines, it'll, um, it'll make them last longer if you prioritize consuming from the core fragments. All right, let's see who's playing Factorio, preferably SE and or K2, but we might just have to raid Mucky instead.
we've given Immo a few raids recently. I'll probably move on for the moment. Spread the love a bit. All right. I think we'll try someone new today. Let me just double check that they're raidable and chattable. Seems good. Other than that, I don't know what to expect. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And uh, we'll be continuing with SEK2 tomorrow, and the day after that. Take care, guys. Dardano, Kyung, thanks for hanging out. And everyone else as well, Evil Pla, take care. Kevin, and uh, Love Kelly, Evil Pla, I think I said Evil Pla. Uh, game to relax, thanks for stopping by. And... Stay safe until next time. Oh wait, the raid button didn't work. Oh. I actually can't raid. Okay. We're raiding Mucky then. Off we go. Apologies. Left you, thank you. Ready. <laughs>